水上唐诗录，这里是我们梦里江南，这里是我的家乡柯桥。春风拂过古今交融的卓越之城，历史与未来相接，传统与活力相融。这条赛道并不平坦。从古至今，我们有一个梦：超越自己，以实力快人一步。Hello and welcome back to China for the finals in a semi-final format for the men. Last night we had the women's final, and what an epic! That was tonight. It's the turn of the men, and you guys have been asking for her for a long time. Stasha Gale is back in the commentary box. Stasha, how you doing? Hello, Matt. Yeah, I'm doing well. I'm excited for this,、um, well, fake final semi-final. <laughs> It is a strange one. Let, let me explain what happened. So the other day, the、uh, qualifying got cancelled due to rain. So we did the qualifying this morning. That means that 20 athletes have moved forward into tonight's finals in quotation marks. And it's exactly the same, except the format is a bit tweaked. So. Five minutes per boulder, rotation of the athletes, but still four very difficult boulders out there, and we're still looking for our top three. Now, Sasha, let's talk about you for a sec. We have to focus on the men.、Um, how was your comp the other day? Not quite the result you wanted. Yeah, it wasn't too bad actually, considering how I climbed. I felt like I'd be way lower on the ranking, but、uh, I topped the coordination boulder, which really saved me. And、uh, it was really my style, but then I couldn't find any good solutions in the following two boulders. And、um, yeah, kind of figured the、uh, start of the slab way too late. I could have topped it. I, this is a thing I can top, but it just took me way too much time to get a good balance point on the beginning, the starting section. Somehow it felt really tight for me to to move across. But all in all, like yeah, I found things that I can need to work on for the OKS and.、Uh, Yeah, now the next step is Li and Wujiang. I don't know how tiredness from this comp will affect that one.、Uh, it's hard to say, but、uh, yeah, let's see. I mean, it's all about the following comps.、Right? Exactly, <laughs> and it's part of the process, isn't it? You're at the stage where you're building up towards the OQS, so you know these comps are important, of course. But the big one is in a couple of weeks. Exactly, they're not like determining any future, so it's、uh, it's just a path to to be on and to see what to to improve in the last month. Um, yes, what's your advice? Awesome. Well, tonight we've got 20 men who have made it through to this stage in proceedings.、Uh, Diane Akhtar is in the semi-final. We've got a few、uh, first-time、mm-hmm. sort of semi-finalists and finalists. Final. I guess. Let's call this a semi-final. <laughs> well, we have to actually call it a final,、mm. theoretically. So I'm、yeah. going to from now on call it a final in a semi-final format. It's all about the wording,、oh, you see.、Right. <laughs> exactly. But Serato and Raku has picked up where he left off last year. He's qualified in first place. So awesome from him. And right now, as you can see on screen, there's a pretty spectacular. I don't know. It's not a live show. It's a video show going on. Yeah, it is.、Uh, there has been one also yesterday for women's final. There was some speedy uh, 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 light effects on the walls,、uh, as if we're going through a warp tunnel.、Um, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> And also, there are lights on the background rocks, if you've noticed. I have. Yes. So to the right of the stadium, there's a quarry, and、uh, it's very beautiful. We might get a shot of it, but who knows? But yes, it's lit up. It's purple.、Uh, there's some it's orange. It's a quarry. I thought it was like a just. <laughs> it should be a crack. I keep saying this, and apparently yeah, no one climbs on it. They're amazing blocks there.、We've、I know. We've all seen those. <laughs> exactly, Stash. I'm glad we're on the same wavelength with、yeah. that one. We need to come here and put some new roots up.、Yeah. Well, the atmosphere is building here. This is the light show we were talking about. And backstage, in isolation, 20 men are waiting nervously for things to begin. We start off things pretty slow in a semi-final, build to a crescendo in the middle where we get、uh, four athletes climbing at the same time, and then we chill things out as we get to the last few remaining climbers. So here we go. The lights flick up, they change colour, and we will、uh, be quiet for a couple of seconds so you can listen to the music and enjoy the atmosphere.
Right, so it looks like the light show is over now. The buzzer is counting down. We're about to see our first climber out, who will be Diane Akbar from the UK. And what a weird moment. You know, your first semi-final, and suddenly you're in a final, you've got all these people and it's dark and it's lights. Yeah, I guess it's amazing. It's better and more spectacular than a regular semi-final. And... Uh, you get to fight hard on these uh, insanely complex problems. Yes, well, we had a look at the problems. Uh, tell us about boulder number one. It's a coordination style jumpy thing. Yeah, so it's one of the easiest to read. You just jump and catch, and then you have to exhibit a little bit of power in the last sequence to be able to get to the top. So the jump seems quite far. You need to get a proper position on the volume that you can basically jump off and continue towards the next two holds. So that means that you kind of have to land on that volume almost like vertically, almost standing properly and not lean backwards as this end of this ring usually gets you. Okay, well that's the theory. Stasha, as always, is the best at explaining movement. I just sort of sit here with my mouth open and she does it. It's really good. But this is Diane starting this swing out and it must be pretty hard because you have to generate that swing without kicking off from the wall. Exactly, and the generation of the swing is something that we will probably see um, a difference between competitors and how they will approach it. And this is um, this a very interesting like logic and strategy behind it, how to generate the swing, how to rotate, what your legs do, what your shoulders and hips do, and where basically it all matters um, to where you want to land. So you have to think of how you're going to get into this position. So he thinks... It's better to rotate to generate more swing as he can control the handhold better. And he's getting better and better. He can generate more and more momentum. We don't know how bad the start, starting hold is because if you start generating too much swing in the wrong direction, you can just slip off. Um, so this is why I think this switching, rotating uh, uh, um, sequence might work better for that situation. Okay, well, let's see what Diane does here. He's having a little rest, 2 minutes 52 on the clock. To me, that zone old looks not great. I mean, it's, it's flat. It's flat. That means you need to really land below it and to the right of it, like in the direction of that. Like, okay, now it's going to sound so nerdy, but I'm no, going to say direction of the normal to the line of the hole. Hang on, say that again. The what? <clears throat> direction of the normal line. Yes. The perpendicular line to the line of the hole. <laughs> okay. I'll not do that. Okay, that was not a good thing. Right, well, when they hit this, 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 the right way of doing it, you tell us, okay? Because uh, <laughs> I'm slightly confused by that one. I, I need to draw it. That is tricky for so TV. If you <laughs> so if you have this hole that is twisted a bit, like let's say, what is it, 45 degrees upwards, that means, like imagine you have two hands on the hold and there's a line vertically in between your hands. Mm -hmm. So this is where your body needs to be. So you need to, to, to load the hold as if you get it in the best possible place and from the best possible direction. Okay. So you need to be there. So you use the red hole to direction yourself towards the right side, and basically like that. I thought he would go with two hands, but I guess one hand stops the rotation. Okay. So you see where he is now. It's like just imagine a line between his hands down to his head. That's where you need to be, basically. I'm, no, I'm with you. That makes more sense than drawing. <laughs> yeah. so thank you. No, that, that's good. I'm glad. So now we have this physical section where he needs to really use his shoulder power to the left uh, red cheetah. Yeah, interestingly, the setters were playing around with the idea of this being a jump to the red hole, but they thought it was just a bit too dangerous to jump into the corner. So mm -hmm. the idea is to have that spread. You could see him doing it. So right hand still on the zone, left hand on the red hole to stop that movement. Yeah, because if you jump like that, you can face plant if you don't. That's exactly <laughs> the words they used, yes. <laughs> so uh, they are thinking about the safety aspect, of course. So Diane's got the zone. Now, if you're new to the sports, uh, the scoring is fairly simple. The yellow bar down at the bottom left, that fills halfway up for a zone it fills all the way up for a top the best score possible is called a flash that's when you climb the boulder the first time and do remember these athletes have never seen these climbs before so when they walk out onto the mats that's the moment they get to see it and uh, work out what to do well yeah that's the difference to the semi-final format final because in the actual final you do get the observation you observe the boulders for two minutes each boulder two minutes one after another and then you get to climb 
you can touch only the starting holds and footholds. You cannot touch anything else. Otherwise, if you do, it will be counted as an attempt already before the comp even started. Yeah, very good point. There are subtle differences in this uh, final semi-final format. Ten seconds left, though. Oh, he's in now. Uh, he's got to be really quick. Yeah, let's see what he can do here. Oh. Stuck the move, but couldn't hold it. And there's a hard one to come as well. The crimp on the volume is not in cut in any way. It's kind of a slopey thing. It's a crimp. Yeah. yeah well, I, I call it a crimp. The uh, oh, the, the jib the on there, the black. On the top. Oh, you, yes. you're over there. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm way ahead. You're way ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Three moves in. Well, this is Diane's jump. This is perfect. Nice. See, the hole is pretty big, but it is slopey. So you need to get it perfectly. You need to be under it, inside the overhang, and. Honestly, this is such a powerful move. It's pretty far, so let's see how Max Miller can tackle this problem. Yeah, this is his teammate from Great Britain. Max, everyone's been commenting on the shorts. They are pretty cool. Oh, Look at that. So he bounced off the volume a bit as well. And you can see that he approached the swinging. Oh, he caught the feet. We can't even catch up with his speed There's of movement. There's so much going on, isn't there? Right. Wow. Now it's a big swing, but he can hold it very well. Yeah. I, I, we need a slow move. <laughs> <laughs> we really do. I mean, Max just came on and 40, cruised that ball. 40 seconds? Yeah. Well, that's unreal. Well, n now we get 40 seconds. Well, we don't get four minutes to chat, Stash. What are we going to talk about? <laughs> we will decompose Max's movement. <laughs> well, hopefully we will have a look at the replay because that was spectacular. Especially the foot. That's what impressed me. Yes. So he began swinging really well. Then he bounces off. Whoop, and he gets a really good height on the hole. Now he catches the foot and the hand at the same time. So he already saw that as an option or a solution. He uses his height to reach this crimp and then enough height to control the swing and not fly out. Amazing, this was perfect. Yeah, it was incredible, wasn't it? I mean, having watched Diane as well, spent five minutes not doing it and then <laughs> Max does it super quickly. It's, I mean, Max is a very jumpy guy. He loves coordinations. He plays around movements like this a lot. So he is, I think, one of the most skilled people in this um, <laughs> yeah, it's this his kind style. of boulder, isn't yeah, it? Exactly. Yeah, no, exactly. Well, we are missing a couple of athletes, if you've noticed. We talked about this in the women's final as well. People like Oriane and uh, the Natalia. And for the men, you know, we haven't got Mejdi, people like that. Why aren't people here? Um, people are, um, yeah, having different strategies with training and competitions because there is no um, opening World Cup in Europe anymore. And now it's quite a commitment to fly from Europe to the US or from the US to China or from Europe to China, it doesn't matter. Um, some people don't feel fit enough to train. There were a lot of people that were, uh, to compete, sorry, some people that were registered for this competition decided not to come, like some of the Slovenians. Um, some people are suffering from certain little injuries that they don't want to provoke any further and will then compete in Salt Lake. Uh, when it comes to the U.S. competitors, I think they prefer their uh, home World Cup, so they will just spare themselves from traveling if they don't have to. Um, and yeah, the Olympians have a little bit of a different uh, timeline than, than the OQS people, because the Olympians need to be in top shape in August, and everyone else in the OQS needs to be in top shape in May and June. That means that they are prioritizing their training now and might not compete that early or pr prefer well, Salt Lake and Innsbruck. I've heard a lot of people talk about this World Cup being a sort of a, a training for the OQS because obviously the OQS is in China. Yeah. This is a chance to come do a boulder comp, a league comp, <laughs> you know, get rid of jet lag, work out jet lag, work out the food. Are you seeing exactly. it a bit like that as well? Yeah, this was one of the main reasons for me why I came here. I have enough things on the list now to prepare better for next time, like VPN and so on. Yes. Oh, yeah, like mine just stopped working yesterday and I only have limited access to WhatsApp and I'm cut out of the world. Like, I cannot see anything, like no Instagram, no email, nothing really. So, uh, that that is definitely the one. I feel like with the food I got quite well prepared and here it's not bad in the hotel. You uh, always have like different options um, and um, yeah, so far so good. Okay, well we are a minute away. We'll just pause for a sec and get back to you in a couple of seconds.
选手的攀爬的时候，他随时可以回头观看自己这一把的攀爬，还是一下多长时间，从而呢调整他的战术。好，不管怎么样，我们看一下，稍后的将会是今天。So we're just watching some replays of Max's run here. It was so beautifully done. It's almost like he'd seen the boulder before. Of course, he hadn't. It's all on sight, and uh, powerful moves up. Towards that top hold, and it's pretty good that last hold. I mean, it should be because you're going off a bad uh, sort of crimpy sloper thing on the right. I don't think it's crimpy. No, it's a full flat on flat hold. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It generates a lot of swing because your feet are all the way to the right. But if you get enough height and your um, arms are bent, and you, know, you can hold it off much better. Okay. Well, the minute buzzer goes. We've got 14 seconds before we get our next climber out to be Yuji. Uh, coming on to the mats. It's funny, we have Yuji's name differently down on our lists. We're, we're trying oh. to work out if he got married or changed his name or what went on there. Oh, but yeah, uh, true. And the app is uh, Fujiwaki, yes, right? Yes, exactly, yeah. So, I don't know. Oh. I was hoping you'd be able to give me some insights on that one. I thought it was someone different. <laughs> 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 okay, well. Um, well, there is Yuji anyway. Hmm. Well, let, let us know if you know. But um, Diane now on MN's 2. We'll just keep an eye. I'll talk about MN's 2 in a sec. Yuji, let's see how he does first go. Not uh, quite. Yeah, not well generated swing. But yeah, the number 2 boulder looks really, really powerful. It's in the steepest part of this wall. This this overhang is quite quite steep and demanding. Um, and it's just pure power moves and pinches. It's interesting. Um, yeah, like uh, my mother has mentioned also, that I haven't really even noticed and thought about it, but now I see that she's right. There's quite a big emphasis on pinches on this competition. Yeah, you're right, actually, especially during the women's comp yesterday. Yeah, yeah, like I didn't really pay attention to it until she pointed it out. I was like, oh, well, I, let me think about it. I need to like, <laughs> count on pinches. <laughs> Sounds like a fun evening with the family, that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, Yuji just swung, totally missed the uh, black hole that time, nearly sort of disappeared between the mats and the wall. And Diane, while we were talking, was launching across. And it's very, this is probably the hardest boulder of the set, mm. men's two. Yeah, similarly like yesterday's uh, women's semi final that only got topped. No, did not. Didn't get topped. Yeah, no. well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, everyone was talking about how Yanya didn't top a boulder, which is well, it's so it strange. Was so that. brutal. Yeah. It was insane. Like that last move, I don't know, the last hold was already so steep and she tried to jump double to it. <laughs> oh, yeah, well. Yeah, you can go back and watch all of that. And, of course, we're doing something called the World Climbing Club. We started it in Bern, and it's a daily show. Highlights, of course, but also some extra content. Uh, myself and Stasha just filmed a little chat just now for today's episode. So subscribe on YouTube and you can see all the action. Diane going horizontal. Oh, he lost the right hand, so he probably needs to stick it with both hands on, I guess. Or maybe some Japanese will do it <laughs> with one hand. I mean, sadly, Yoshiki missed this uh, final, but I could see him as a person who could just hang on to this with one hand. <laughs> I had Yoshiki up here in the commentary box during the qualifying, oh, okay. um, which is great. I haven't chatted to him in like a year. It's oh, really? brilliant to speak to him. <laughs> He's having a good time out there. All right, so Diane, with two minutes 30 to go, as you said, might need to bring another hand in. And Yuji is a little bit stumped at the moment, I think, trying to figure this out. Yeah, he was really close um, in his last attempt. But let's see if he can adjust the swing in the direction. He's facing the other way and then rotates through oh, much yeah, better. Yeah. All right, let's see if the top is as easy as Max made it. He's going straight for the foot. Yeah, this might be like... A little bit less complex solution, but it doesn't give you enough. Uh, yeah, doesn't give you enough uh, momentum for the start of the move. So yeah, you get exactly. cut short. He was way too low on it, right? Because he didn't have that swing. But it's interesting that he thought of the foot. I mean, that's something the testers would have tested. You know, if you could heel hook it and just reach out statically, it kind of ruins the boulder. Yeah, I mean, or if you could go feet first and then reach it. But I don't know if anyone else. Well, I hadn't even thought of that. <laughs> I don't know. It could be a possible. I have no idea. <laughs> Stash's brain is whirling. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like my brain just goes too far. <laughs> no comment. So Diane is with a minute and a half to go. Keeps going horizontal with a spectacular spin down to the mats. He's just making sure that zone hold is brushed. I'm not sure if he's got the zone yet. Because mm -mm. he kind of gets it and keeps swinging, so not really using no, it. No, no, you need to finish the move. So you need to control the position. Mm. If you're still swinging around, mm. 
you don't have it. No, exactly. So you have to use it. And the judges are down there watching for those little moments. So Diane going again, hits the right hand, stops that swing, gets the foot onto a pretty old hold, right? You were saying it looks kind of prehistoric. Oh, that was a Oof, big fall. <laughs> um, I, I don't see it from far away. I would need a nice zoom on it to see how prehistoric it is. Maybe it's not, maybe it just looks like. Uh, but the color seems a bit odd. Um, it's not like the shiny ones we're used yeah. to. <laughs> or maybe it's because it's not the old mix. Yeah, we're not being rude about the holes, by the way. What we're saying is that, um, you know, setters have lots of holes to play with. And sometimes they pull something out of the bag they haven't seen in a while, kind of put yeah. it on the wall to test people. It's interesting. Right. All right, UG goes again. <sighs> just too low. He needs to jump more from the hole. It's interesting he's not learning the move. You know, he's got it, and then it's not in his body yet. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe he has some fatigue from swinging because swinging can be quite intense on the bicep because you're, you're trying to react your body so many times in a row without much rest that it can be really tiring. All right, well, Yuji leaves. He would have got the zone. I think this is one of Diane's attempts. That's out off. It's, it's kind of a pinch. It's kind of a crimp. You get two fingers deep into it. Yeah. So swinging around here. Made that move, but didn't really get particularly close on the next sequence. Had the heel in, tried to get the swing, didn't have the reach, of course, and then uh, held on, kind of kicked off the wall, tried to get some kind of a momentum from it, had that heel hook locked in, down, way too low, and no go for him. So, next rotation has started already. Jan Lukaposh in action. Starting off at a big oh, wow. two-handed swing from yeah. him. Well, as we were just pausing there, uh, <gasps> Yanluka Posh. Wow, I'm sorry for so many guests. But no, no, <laughs> gusts, gusts are fun. Yeah, Max falling in his side and Yanluka Posh topping out really well with an interesting double jump over to that red hole. Yeah, he did what they wanted to avoid i guess from the danger of it but uh, he seemed so 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 solid on it whereas max got uh, swinged uh, swung away just like diane and um well landed on his back <laughs> yeah he did we saw quite a few falls i mean it talked to me about mats <laughs> are they good mats out there are they nice to land on i didn't notice they were bad so i okay, guess they're good then <laughs> that's they're good then yeah nothing uh, in particular like you immediately notice when the mats are bad but here Falling was quite all right, so uh, yeah. So no. top marks for that one. Exactly. Yeah, we're in a purpose-built stadium here, so this has been created just for sport climbing. So we're looking at the boulder wall. On the left of it, there's a big old uh, lead wall. On the right, there's a four-lane speed wall. It's got a nice facility inside for the athletes to warm up on, like an indoor gym. Uh, the roof you're seeing is temporary. It was meant to stop the rain. Didn't do the best of jobs, to be honest, but improvements in the future and this is a venue I'm looking forward to coming back to one day. Now we're looking up at boulder number two here and uh, that was where Max fell on that sideways move. <laughs> so I'm really interested to see how one should hold the swing and then launch, change direction to the very right side. It's almost like campus in half of the boulder basically. Yeah, simple stuff really. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you have the guns for it. <laughs> well Max does have some pretty big guns out there. He's uh, <laughs> He trains hard. And now he's just resting with two minutes 30 to go. He's by himself, of course, after Jan Luka Posh got that boulder done pretty quick. Just having a little rethink, a bit of air climbing. Mm, yeah, and the roof, well, the venue was built without an actual roof, or rather the roof is with holes, which mm, is not the best idea when it's an outdoor venue, you know, it rains, it comes usually <laughs> when you least expect it to. So, um, yeah, the, we thought that this roof would do the job, but uh, unfortunately there were gaps in the slab, so that needs some fixing. But, uh, yeah, hopefully for next year, because uh, as I said, it is a nice place to come to. Max holding the swing this time, getting that left foot drilled into that red hold. Pinch is so nasty. I mean, it's a sloper with, an, with a screw on, which makes it into a very open, slopey pinch. Yeah, it's very wide, isn't yeah. it, for that right hand? We had a similar thing in the semis in that green one. Um, it was the second hold for the left hand, so you had this uh, uh, flat hold or whatever it was with a little tiny jib which created a really weird kind of hold. I guess 
their idea, like the setters, is to do it without the chips. So they try just to put on volumes as they are, and then if it's too difficult to hold, they try to put on a jib that makes it a little bit better. Uh, it does ruin the hold a little bit, unfortunately, uh, but that's the solution because usually mm, if the angle is so steep, you can't really find a better solution or a better hold to put it on. That's why in the lead routes, there's so many jibs on the volumes and on all of these macros because they're too bad to be held by themselves on their own in such an overhand. So you have like the lead routes, the individual moves aren't that hard, so they have to put a lot of screw on. So. Yeah, this whole Instagram page is dedicated to uh, root setters screwing things onto <laughs> other things. It's fail, fail root setting. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah perhaps. <laughs> all right, Max has waited a long time to do this. He's got 30 seconds to go. This will be his last go. Bumps that right hand in that wide grip we were talking about. Oh, his fingers are really straight in that. Like, I don't know. Straight bad or straight good? Bad. Okay. It's like sometimes when they're too straight, you can't use enough power on it because they're too extended, you know? Huh. Yeah. So what, So you, you just want a little bit of a bend in them? Yeah. Okay. No, no, no I, 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 every time you talk, I learn something new about climbing. It's really oh, interesting. Oh, yeah, we didn't see it. Like, yeah, Luca skipped the, the red hold. He, oh, he did he jumped that. completely, like, straight to the zone. I mean, he is very tall. Yes. So indeed. that might have been his way. But, yeah, and, and unique there as well. And on armor to finish things off before matching, just, <laughs> just to scare what us. a way to, to waste energy. Uh, save it for the next boulder. <laughs> yeah, it was a quick flash from him. All right, Max, this was his closest attempts. Yeah, those are the straight hands. You'd think a little bit of a bend in them might have helped. Yeah, but it's a really wide pitch sometimes. You can't really get it. But yeah, Diane is now opening the third boulder, which seems quite complex, I might say. Yes, it is. Certainly the last volume as well. I, I actually climbed a ladder, uh, which, if you know <laughs> me, that's a dangerous thing. <laughs> oh, no. To man. try and hold on to that volume, because it's horrible. It's, it's like a stacked volume, and there's nothing really yeah, on it. Yeah, it's like three volumes on it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well. The start is funky, because you have to run in and palm and pinch, and then climb your way up to the starting position. Yeah, well, we'll okay. check that in a sec. Mika Mauer. Swing a bit too much to the right. Whoa, okay, all right. I, I'd expect this to be kind of his kind of thing. Yeah. Oh. oh, no. Oh, I, I think I was surprised too. <laughs> so Diane's on the boulder you were talking about. Um, so he's in the starting position, gets this toe hook. He's on the corner now, and there's a horrible oh, yeah. blocked crimp to come. He needs to match that corner. Yeah, he tried to test that crimp if he can reach it, but now he needs to put his feet on the hole. No, that's kind of the wrong idea. So you meant to hit the crimp first and then do what he but did. But you're supposed to bicycle the, the, the volume on the left, or what would you do with your feet? Uh, Probably, yeah. Yes, I think you kind of bicycle a toe hook out left, um, but you're matching the corner, that's mm -hmm. important, and then you go to the crimp with the right hand. Yeah, and then you swing out. Wow. That's Pretty physical idea. again. Cool. It is. So, right, Diane has a little look. He's trying to figure it out. He's got one zone already. We'll need more than that with some of the names we have to come. Well, we've seen these pinches yesterday in the women's final. It caused quite a trouble to some of the athletes at the very top. But uh, it was an interesting show, right? It was a good, yeah, it was an interesting show. I mean, Yanya was... Oh, in fact, we're not going to give it away. Let's not give away the spoilers. Oh, yeah, okay, sorry. Although it is all over social media, but you know. <laughs> I didn't know you cared about spoilers. Here. I got very told off by a few Instagram people recently, so I'm trying to keep it down. Right, he's trying to match the corner, gets the toe hook... That's Ooh. good. That's the match sorted. Oh, there it is. That's and the now, now he kicks the feet. That's aggressive. That crowd so shout, by the way, was for Mika Mawam, who's just topped boulder number one off screen. So that's what that scream was for. Yeah, so complex moves. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. These, like, um, left-right swings can be sometimes, like, super aggressive. You need to be really powerful on them and do it really fast. So your hands don't give up. <laughs> Exactly. And we haven't talked much about Yuji, but he's in uh, order number two. Let's see how sticky his hands and arms are in this position. Launches up. Whoa, that's a big launch. Um. Aesthetically, by the way, I love the shadows on this wall when they swing. It looks so cool. <laughs> Those big, uh, yeah, hanging shadows look awesome. Yeah, it would be nice to climb at night when it's a bit cooler, there's a little breeze going on. You need to get into the finals, though. Oh, man. That was close, though. I just needed to stop the slab. That was all I had to do. You were very close. There'll be more to come, Stash it, of course. Right, one minute 46 on the clock now. Both athletes standing, looking up at the wall. 
Diane approaches, runs, and this is the run, jump, climb into the starting position. Yeah, so he's not in the starting position yet. He needs to put his right foot up, and now he has started. <laughs> yeah, and you, it's tricky because you can kind of forget and move too quickly. The judges need to show you're in the right position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this, um, well, he crosses, uh, but um, these kind of like uh, pre climbing starts have um, become more common last year, I think when setters figured out, okay, let's add a couple more moves before you actually start, you know. Um, it's funny, or like you'd have a swing in running dyno because the running starts are not allowed anymore in root setting because you need like a controlled position and so on. But now they make you run in to a position that you then start running. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, that must be it. Because yeah. I know the setters enjoy the old run and jump yeah, starts. Well, yeah, of <laughs> but now they have to make it like uh, proper and they try to add a few of like zero point moves. <laughs> oh, Diane's left alone on the stage. Yuji's just left us. So, ooh, kind of reverse gripping. Oh, that. I don't know how much of a stable start that was actually. I'm looking down at the judges. So no one's no, moved. It was yet. a bit too fast when he um, switched his feet. <laughs> Okay, we'll have to wait and see. Remember, oh. especially with the semi-final format, is uh, appeals can come in. And in fact, we will have a pause before we announce the winners later, just to allow that appeal process mm. to finish. But I think that's it for Diane. Yeah, yep. he's gone. That hold, interestingly, the crimp, they uh, changed the angle. So it was straight, like a uh, uh, horizontal crimp, mm -hmm. and they've put a little angle on it uh, to make it harder. Although... Oh, sorry, hang on a second. This is, this is what we missed on camera. So Mikael Mawem should have really done it the first time and slipped. Did it, I think, the second go, reaching up high, springing. Good work from him. He is the Boulder World Champion as he well. He is indeed, yes. Last year in Bern. He said to me, uh, Mika, in an interview, I'll, I'll talk about Mika when he comes on. Right now, this is Yuji flinging up to the pinch and not making it happen. This is Diane without the cross. I had the right hand on. I was looking for the kick. That is the method, mm. but didn't quite get it. Right, uh, Jan Luca Posh is in the middle. Uh, Dohyan Lee is on right. men's one. And Do Hyun Lee is part of uh, two, well, two Koreans in this men's final. Sean Won Chong comes in later, and Do Hyun Lee is up and coming and just so strong. Well, let's see how Yanni approaches this blue boulder. He is a little bit taller, so he could have some advantage of not having too much swing, but oh, oh, still is a lot. The thing is, with long legs, you've got a lot of momentum. Yeah, you have a lot of momentum, but we saw with Yuji that he had to jump so far, and that gave him even more swing. But let's see what Max does with his... Oh, stops in the volume. Very nice. This is a good run for Max. Shame he didn't get the zone on Boulder 2, but... Yeah, that zone might be really hard to get. Yeah, I think so too. Right, so he's pinching the edge, upgrade the feet, and then it's the next stacked volume I was saying is, ooh, a heel hook in there, wow. Oh, that is that one of those nastiest dual text jibs. He tried to turn his left palm, but it doesn't really fit. It's like a really narrow mm, space where you can yeah, palm in, and the angles are quite close together, so it's going to be a tough one now. Yeah, so he's going to rest, put some liquid chalk on. Jan Luka Posh is there, and then uh, Do Hyun Lee walks into our shot. He hasn't got that boulder done yet. Oh, I thought he... I was just wondering, did he top it already? And I saw the towel. I was like, oh, yeah, okay, maybe he's still <laughs> <laughs> He just forgot it. That's behind. <laughs> so we've got three boulders in action. Just a slab to go before we've seen them all, and then we slowly rotate through until Serato and Raku comes out. He qualified in the first position, so he'll climb last. Uh, and Toby Roberts after that, both of them topping their groups in quali. Doyen Lee is in, looking good now. How will he do this move? We've seen it a few different ways. Yeah, he's really strong with his shoulders. So no problems here. And the top move doesn't seem to be as difficult as we have thought he chooses a heel to the hand, which might be even easier. Yeah, no swing. Yeah, easy stuff once he figured it yeah. out. We would call it nowadays. We would call this static climbing. And if you ask someone 20 years ago what static is, which means very slow mo climbing, and now it's like if you don't launch with all of your limbs, um, that's pretty much static nowadays. Wow, really? <laughs> I mean, at least in our like comp circles, when you're supposed to dyno and you just dynamically do the move but without fully jumping that's still like oh she static it <laughs> unreal I, uh, you guys are coming up with new terminology <laughs> for breaking so much new ground incredible I, uh, I thought about it recently I was like when did this change like what <laughs>
<laughs> what happened? Max chooses the left foot instead of right. Oh, falls from the starting position. Mm. Doesn't like the right foot start method. Does not. Mm. All right, well, Max. Yeah, Max is uh, having a little look at this boulder, trying to read it. And Yanluka Posh, as we said, long legs, good or bad? <laughs> we'll have to find out in yeah. a couple of seconds. He's got a minute 20 to get this boulder done. Max up into the starting position, climbing yeah. into the position, two legs. Now started, let's see. It's pretty physical to show control on that, isn't it? Ah, it's all right. You just have to not move for a millisecond. Um, <laughs> Because climbers tend to just keep moving and, uh, yeah, you can't. Oh, switches back to the crimp. This might be a good idea. He's making the middle section really easy now. Uh, now, this, that's the hold I thought was hard to hold. You've got to get your forearm involved. In yeah, that, now he's trying to, wow, grip it on the left side. How is he going to, he needs to palm everything. How is he going to do the top now? <gasps> this is really physical. Yeah, it is. It's full on. How Whoa. tight is he? Went for the big jump. That is insane. Well, okay. 30 seconds. I don't think he's going to have enough no. time to go. No power set. He doesn't want to leave, does he? He pacing <laughs> no. around like a sort of caged it's lion. It's so there. annoying, though, when you're like, ah, oh, if I just had one more try and I could just rest a little bit, that'd be amazing. But <laughs> He's still there. He's just standing. <laughs> I kind of want to go give him a <laughs> hug. Come on. He wants to go, but he's tired. He no, know. he I needs think to go and go. rest for the slab. Oh. He needs to get his heart rate down, get him pumped, and I, get I calm. Like, I know it's maybe not the best practice as an athlete, but I love the fact he didn't want to leave. Oh, yeah. Well, you can allow yourself that if it's a slab and it's the last boulder and you can't do anything. <laughs> it's just the passion of it. It's very cool. Yeah, but most likely, like in most cases, people make a mistake and slip in the start or like just happens all the time because you're rushing too much <laughs> well that was Doki Lee's top really beautifully done this was Max this is how close he got he wanted more had to leave because of the time slapping up oh look at that forearm engaged like we said and then set himself for the jump launch but not high it's enough it's really hard that. to jump from that because kind of the volume is in your way with the chest I don't think it's really meant to be a jump like you kind of almost hit it I don't know whether to call it static anymore but you know what I mean <laughs> so you don't really launch like that apparently but we'll see if it's far. I mean, where do you stand? Exactly. Well, Ram Levin uh, in his first Boulder semi-final. Yeah, cool. impressive. Mm. Yeah, he's been working so so hard. I remember chatting to him a few years ago about how you know this was what he wanted to achieve, and people were saying, yeah. getting goosebumps. Oh, Mika just had a massive fall. Oh. You saw his shadow hit the ground there on the side Zuzi of your shot. Zuzi is ah oh, just missed the volume, but. Yeah, now we're seeing all boulders being climbed. Yeah, Ram has worked for a long time for, yeah, progressing into further rounds of the competition. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty positively and surprised to see him in the, in the semi in the finals well yeah, now. Yeah, he did well. Uh, <laughs> now, we're watching on the left the slab for the first time. So he's standing right now on a really small jib. And there's a very even smaller jib behind him. It's one of those holds. Someone actually took a picture of my finger next to it for scale because the screws are almost bigger than the jib. Yeah, I, I don't know, like, it, it's it's just so bad to put such holds as a zone. Um, because well, no, I'm talking about the one he's going to stand on. Oh. I haven't even chatted about the zone. Oh, even I thought you were at the zone. No, oh, no. So no. he's trying to get the zone with his foot, but the jib is actually down low on the volume. Just oh. It's so small, I can't, you can't really you see it. You need to draw on the screen. Yes, I need to draw on the screen. I, mean, I was pointing at the screen to show Stafford because <laughs> you at home can't see me. But it's on the blue volume underneath the yellow volume that's stacked on it. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, like jibs for feet. Yeah, sure. But to have a zone be a jib, it's the worst thing you can do for the judges. Because in the rules, you need to use the zone to achieve or change a stable position. If that hold is unusable, how the hell do you change a position? Well, they say it is usable. Uh, you know, and oh, so <laughs> you've got to remember, this is me saying it as less of a pro climber than you. So for what is <laughs> tiny for me, but perhaps massive for you, but it is a, it is a foothold. And Technical it's uh, event delegates and jury presidents hate this. Huh. Because <laughs> it's like doctors hate this trick. <laughs> it's, it happened in Innsbruck last year. It's a thing that's so difficult to judge. And then random appeals start flying in. 
to see, oh, well, this person has had more of a control of an uncontrollable zone than that other person has had. And this goes in circles and it never ends. And it can change the game so much just because they put something so small that you as an athlete kind of pretend to use but don't use really. And if you have a difficult judge, they cannot give you zone even if you have fully progressed in the boulder. And this is the worst position, especially, I mean, it happens only in slabs, but, yeah. Well, let, let's hold our judgment a bit, because <laughs> no one's actually touched the thing yeah, yet, so let's okay. wait and I'm see. I'm just warning everyone. Yes, okay. <laughs> Daya gets stood up again. Yuji has had trouble with running into that position. Yeah, okay, start. Well, yeah, he's a bit shorter than the other, so needs to really launch much higher than the rest. Yeah, good point. But let's see if he goes for the... Oh, he goes straight for the foothold, and what you've seen is like he tries to reach as far as he can with the right foot so that he can shorten the path that his foot needs to travel to hit the volume, which is quite a good tactic because you reduce a bit of the swing. Yeah, that's true. Mm. All right, well, that's the plan for him. He can't hear Stasher, unfortunately, but let's see if he makes that adjustment. Now, the start of M4 as well, it's a big old run and jump to a, to a good flat hold. Okay? Yeah. It actually looks worse on TV than it is in real life. And now he mantles up. The set has described this to me as a, a classic mantle move, which is part of climbing. It was like they're defending themselves. I quite, I quite like it. You know what's a classic mantle move? Where you have one volume and you have to do like a double like muscle up on it. That's the classic. One. This is like you have a foot. This is not the classic. I've, I've seen some athletes uh, yesterday in the ISO um, for the semifinals warm up and try to do this classic mental. Oh, Ooh, sorry, Yuji's in. in. Hits that in. foot beautifully. Let's see how if he can. So it's 20 seconds left. Oh, yeah, I've what forgotten about the oh. clock. It's not enough time, no, is it? No, not at all. And Diane wants this zone as well on the left. Yeah, That's why he's still battling. Need more time for it as well. It's quite a slow slab, as you mentioned. But. Um, yeah, someone tried to do this like classic mental, and I, I just come. This must be the worst moving climb I've ever seen. It's like, it's just so, sometimes so painful, so weird, so uncomfortable. What a man. Like, you have one hold, both hands on it, you have to push up on it depending on how bad it is, and then you have to put your feet next to your hands. Oh, yes, yeah, that's yeah, sounds like, awful. I, blah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Font esque, for sure. Oh, but yeah. See, right, well, uh, Max is on the slab and Jakob Schubert runs on. Right. Good to see him back. He was another one who came up to the commentary box for a little chat earlier on. And now Jakob pre-qualified, not pre-qualified, he's qualified for the Olympics at the World Champs last year. And he seems very relaxed. Like, he's experienced enough to know that he's sort of part of a process here. Yeah, they have more time. Yeah. It's when you see them in training, the Olympians, the qualified world athletes, it's a total different vibe. Um, especially in the winter training, I remember seeing Jesse um, in December when everyone of us already started training like really hard. And Jesse just comes, does a few boulders, goes home. So she doesn't really care, you know. She, I talked to her at that time and she said, ah, oh, you know, I kind of started training, but I really didn't feel like it. So I took another week off. <laughs> I was like, oh, lucky you. <laughs> you can afford that. Yeah, it's this thing with his qualifying <laughs> system. Qualifying early is an advantage, and Jakob does have that. He's swinging around off screen. Jan Luka Posh's teammate, using his long legs for an advantage, reaching it's over. Really solid in the shoulders. Oh, Dohi Lee has stepped the zone in the blue and keeps going in the pinches. Yeah, so that's, we'll hopefully go to that in a minute. We'll oh. stick with four and three at the moment. And uh, at the moment, Max is on the slab, creeping over to the left. Jan is almost at the top. Let's see what we'll do here, how much he will have to launch. So intense. Ah, oh, just misses it, just like Max. Rolls towards Max. <laughs> yeah, well, luckily it's a slab and not an overhead. Max is going really low, interesting. I don't know, he's trying something weird. He's Amazing. trying to swing his foot, but it's too far. You get the logic, because then you're closer to that jib that you guys can't see where I'm pointing to, but it is, it is quite low. Now, off camera, uh, all the gasps and screams were because um, uh, Jakob Schubert got very close to the top, as did Dohyan Lee. Yeah, Dohyan Lee fell at the top in this blue boulder, which is a pity we didn't see on the screen. Um, but hopefully, now he will rest long enough. Um, and the usual tactic is if you fall on the top, you wait until the end of the time and then you go again. Because if you have fallen on the top, you know how to do the moves, so you need to use all the time to recover as much as you can. 
you can try and get in but there's a huge chance you will make a mistake because you have not rested enough as like doing a whole boulder in a flash burns quite a lot um, but sometimes athletes like to leave a little bit of a reserve that if they make a mistake they still have a chance to get in again well ha i thought Jakob didn't top it out he has actually left Oh, well, we haven't so maybe I missed that, but I thought he fell. Interesting. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I'll have a little look at those. And by the way, if you want to keep uh, track of the live scores, the IFSC app free to download on app Does services. it work again? It didn't work. It wasn't working earlier, no. So, um, <laughs> no, <laughs> ifsc.results.info. You have all the um, graphics and everything. I think even the classic uh, IFSC website doesn't work yet because they've changed the service and the graphics don't show the proper attempts and zones but i have results.info and then you can choose the live event that's currently being run and you have everything in there very neatly uh, presented there we go well we're finding that right now as we speak uh, <laughs> because yeah i was trying to find a scoreboard earlier and couldn't and uh, a couple of people have asked by the way there's a scoring system on the new website with lines through it for various yeah. different things that is a bug in the system we're sorting it out but just so many buggy. people ask me I'm <laughs> yeah. it now. right max is stood up high oh huge fall from Dojo yeah jacob topped in second attempt there we go so, so we yeah. you have seen the hewn fall yes i think i must and have just missed it now max. oh look you can see the jib now so oh, right. down low beneath the yellow volume there is a little jib that's what he's aiming for with the left foot Yes, and let's see now. He needs to hit the right volume right. And so now he's dropped onto it. Yes, there is the jib. Now let's see how he uses the zone. This is going to be. Yeah, this is a. So. I mean, it is useful know. to move across, perhaps. So now he has to do something with it. He needs to try just at least change a foot or just the position to prove that he has used it. Yeah, so now so this, is, this is a zone already. So I think that's, that's yeah. kind of fair to be, to oh be yeah. fair to Okay, you can use it enough, right? When you explained it, I thought it's just something you touch. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it is tiny, but it's like, uh, yeah, it's usable. All right, no, now he has to go super slow. slow. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to say, it's not a bad hold up there. Oh, the there's a little edge on it. <gasps> 16 seconds. It's going to be a buzzer beater if he can get mm, it. He's going to be... F oh! No. He oh. just needed to stay calm. He would have had enough time. Oh. Max is standing there looking at his coaches. He oh. can't believe it either. Unbelievable. This is such a pity. This is the worst experience for an athlete where you are at the top and two bowlers and you don't get it. And then you get thrown out of the next round because you have just touched the top. Yeah, and you have to go and think about it all night. Oh. This was Jakob's top, so we reached up to that sloper, held it, got the heel involved, nice move. Static. That is, is that static static or not yeah, static? Yeah, it's static. And you saw Dohyun at the back, really pinching hard. Yeah, and then yeah, this was... Oh, these palms are horrible. You see him slipping down. Brutal moves mm, out there. Very, very. Well, that's what we <laughs> predicted. <laughs> right, can you please pronounce Andre's name? Because I know you keep messaging me saying I say it wrong. So Andre. Uh, so Andre? I think you've said it more or less correctly. Andre. There's a je on his z, so there's like a tick as on my sh in Stasha. It's a little crown or tick on his z. <laughs> oh, look at Andre. Though. Sorry, oh. because he just flew across that. <laughs> yeah, it was so easy. And his surname is Pechartz. Perhaps. Perhaps. Okay, so yes. perhaps. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So Andrzej Perhaps is now up towards the top move. Hits the slope. This is his flash, I think. Yes. Yeah, very easy. Oh, Whoa, a little show. <laughs> a little there. show off. Oh, spare it. Spare it for the next one. <laughs> so that was beautifully flashed from him. Mm. So done and dusted. Ram 11 has his hand on his hips. Uh, Mikael Mauer pulls up into the starting position. He's a little bit of a knee on the left pinch to stabilize himself. Yeah, good spot. So mm. that's in there. And then Yuji is on. On the slab at the end. So toe hook locked in. Next toe hook. It's a bit close. Might make it a bit uncomfortable. And now I think he should be able to swing this quite easily. He's trying to adjust the left hand. Oh, nice. Wow, it doesn't stop on the jib, it stops on the volume. Yeah, I, I think it's easier to do that. I think it's easier. I mean, it is more friction dependent, but it's a shorter distance. And Yuji is on the volume already on the yellow one. Goes for the jib. And there's the zone, easy into that. And, and looking really can. comfortable. Max was looking, oh wow, very comfortable. Oh, Hands well, off. Yeah. Some confidence. Oh, look at Mika, so one move oh, away. No. The same. There he was, was higher though. No. <laughs> it was further away though. True. Let's see, you're just trying to move out of this position. 
chalking up. Seems very uncomfortable here to like just try to find some points of contact that can stabilize you. You don't want to release any of the feet slash hands if you don't feel like exiting that position is stable enough. And that's always a trick about these weird position like in, in semifinals women. Oh, goes dynamically almost does it. So he wasn't really using the zone to make that move over like Max. Did. So did he get a zone? I don't know. We'll yeah, see. Oh, we'll have, I've got you have the website now, so I can pull it up. <laughs> And uh, Ram Levin live, you don't has have to been okay. Ram Levin has been sitting for a long time. Uh, he did get, he did get the zone. Okay, yeah. so it was awarded. Fair judging. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so like in the in the female bowler, like the red one, all these boxes that were in there to press in, and like exiting any the position felt so awkward that like moving your left foot felt like you're gonna just fly away. So this is like trying to like tiptoe and, and find to sense the to predict the end position you'll be in and this is really really hard into trying to find the right solution because number got detached is, yeah, yeah I, d I presume he asked her to do that so oh. he's just standing there and she's just putting that back on okay. uh, Ram Levin spent a long time I think he was taping up a finger oh so I uh, hope he's, yeah, so maybe a bit of blood or something going on. He's obviously using it as a rest as well, but he was on the mats for a long time with that one. Yeah, he knows that he needs a lot of power for this boulder, and he's going to use all the rest he can. Oh, quite hard this move. Yeah, it certainly is. He shakes his head a bit. So, yeah, looks down at that right hand again. Yuji is waiting for that big run and jump start. So that's what you were saying about. So because you're running into the position, you can run and jump like that. Honestly, Matt, I have forgotten a bit. You know, I'm getting old. Um, I forgot, but there was something that got banned. Okay. Usually I would get updates from our friends that are officials who watch the stream and they would send me a message when I'm wrong about something. But now that I'm struggling with the internet, I'm probably not going to get any updates. Uh, well, but well, slash his friends. Please <laughs> message her if she's got any. Hannes, yeah. if you're watching, let me know when this was uh, taken out of, like, put in the rules. But there was something about this run and jump. Or it was more like this um, tapping. You remember when that was yes, a thing? Yes, I do really? remember that. Yeah. So that I, was quite I like good. The tap. Oh yeah, I, I remember. I used it for the first time in like World Youths, and I loved it. I just like ran and tapped quickly and jumped up, which cheated the beta. Mika has a heel. Sorry, dude, but Mika has a heel. Oh, the plastic. Really no, yeah. it's in the plastic part. Mm. I want to see Yuji. Now, how is he? he's trying this big sort of dynamic move. Oh, that right smart. hand is awful. Yeah, it's not to. a good position, though. Mm, Got to go slow. Yeah, it is interesting. This is a, <laughs> this is a good little round, this. I'm enjoying it. Yes, it is very diverse, I would say. Yeah, so Mika leaves without a top. Uh, Boulder 3 hasn't been topped yet, so it's a physical one. In fact, the only one that has been topped is first Boulder one, number yeah. 1. Yeah. yeah. Mm, I assume... Maybe some guys will be able to top the number two. Mm, let's see, probably Sorato. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm not going to guarantee anything. You know, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not placing not any bets. No. <laughs> but I can see bowler number two being topped and the slab as well. About the number three, I don't know. It seems like the position at the end is just way too hmm, far away. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see on that one. Well, Jakob is going to get involved in it. Uh, Yongwon Chon is on M1. He had a good round during qualies. Jakob's launched really easy into that sloper. Oh, and holds oh, the pitch. Oh, amazing. Go on, Jakob. Right, so he's in now, but big move out to another pitch. Hits the first one, he needs oh, to get his hand he needs over. to get the other one. Let's get does it again, right? Jakob's power is outrageous. Oh, it's sometimes. amazing, really. Now he matches. He's got the heel. He needs to release that heel. <laughs> flick his feet over to the other volume. Oh, he does release the heel. This is amazing from oh, Jakob. Oh, nice. And all the while, Yongguan has done the zone. <gasps> oh, oh no. he got confused Ooh. with his feet. Oh. That was so cool. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So I just went pure fanboy there, didn't okay. I? Okay, uh, Hyun trying to figure out the swing to the zone. Yeah, do he hits the volume, and I think you're right. That seems yeah. to be the easier way to do it. Yeah, it doesn't like, it doesn't seem like a trustworthy foot for landing, but I guess it's better than swinging it that far. So now it came to the stack volumes. Ah, yeah, he's having a foot problem as well. He's kind of, mm. I think he's got a toe underneath. Yeah, that yeah, toe yeah. he's looking. squeezing the volume. He switched to the crimp with the left hand. 
Oh, and he oh. cut loose on that volley. And wow. now he's sitting on his heel on this really miserable foothold. Oh, well. I think it was almost like being overly strong there. Because the fact he can do that, maybe it wasn't the best. Yeah, method. he was just, just trying to explore the volume and where his hands can go. Because it's it's very nasty. You need to see how each angle feels. And obviously you don't have enough time to explore that much. <laughs> oh, exactly. Yeah. You have to squeeze as well. <laughs> yeah, and the energy is always going down. Zhongwon didn't come close that time. He's got closer than that. Kind of a bit over to the right, I think. And mm. Jakob is resting. We, I reckon Jakob is going to rest right to the very end almost here. Yeah, probably. He's just trying to figure out what to do with his feet at the top. I assume he needs to um, leave the left hand down on the pinch as as we saw in the finals yesterday, like leaving the mm -hmm. hand on the pinch, getting the top hold and just letting the feet swing. Oh, I see what you mean, and then bringing them out. Yes, yeah, I think okay. it's the same trick here because it's also the same top hold here. Yeah, and Jakob is a veteran of this sport, so... And Jan Luka Posh now standing on the gym. He's used the zone, I'd imagine. He's changed position. Mm, yeah, he's got, yeah, the zone. got the zone. I guess as soon as you get with your hands on it, they award it, which is fair in this position. Ooh, not a bounce. Whoa. You could sort of see he'd fallen off there about a second yeah. before he did. It was just a little wobble. Yeah, but what Max did is he squeezed the top of the right volume with his right hand and the jib and just slowly moved up, pushed himself upwards, and then changed his position. And Yanni here tried to just be on the jib with his left hand and the foothold, which is not that stable anymore. All right, so he's got to work out that movement right now. And uh, Dokan Lee is also just having a little look up. Minute 10 to go. Jan's going low as well. He's trying that method. Or oh. maybe he did that before. No, he didn't. Mm, I, I think if you're very tall, it might work. Yeah, he was on it, but just not very precise. <laughs> right, Dokan up into the position. He's flicking that hand around. Now he goes across onto that crimp, slightly sideways, kicks over to the wall, toe underneath now. Jakob is going again after a long, long rest like we thought he oh, would. 40 seconds is usually the way to go. Yanni now gets up on the volume. The young one is swinging. Ah, oh, misses the zone. Oh, Jakob slips. Oh, now he's got no. a bit of a problem. I know he he's lives. calling it. Okay, yeah, well. Not the most satisfying thing to do, but he's smart. He knows that well he doesn't have another chance and he better spare it for the next one yeah and uh keep an eye on Jan Luka Yanni Posh, is up there and he just has the last move to go in seven seconds oh <gasps> no, no again why that is this so ungrateful <laughs> ungrateful i like that those those thumb ends i always think I of me this is the, the thing is when we get in that position and we have 10 seconds to go and it's sort of panic kicking in and you know that you have to um, just stand up and not aim for the hold but aim for the body position but we forget that we're so much in panic that we crunch downwards and we don't like straighten up fully and that kicks us out of the position and this happens all the time and I hate it it's like the body just shuts down and so when you're in that position, are you telling yourself this, or is it something that you're know, you saying, stand up, relax, loosen up? Or? See, his hips were like far away from the wall, and like in training, he would probably be able to do this stand up without hands for sure. And I, I did tell myself yesterday that, like, you know, now you need to take care to stand up fully. What did I do? I didn't do that. And we just saw Colin flash to the zone easily to the next hole, chops up. Yeah, yeah, Colin's another, uh, he's in the Olympics for summer, so he's kind of relaxing a little oh, bit yeah, more. Oh, yeah, true, right. <laughs> so he gets, to, uh, he gets to be in that side of the process. Oh, but look at this. Oh, he just did it. Oh, well, okay. Uh, <laughs> we were talking about people's celebrations earlier, and we, if we could recognize them, you know, if they were, like, blanked out or something. And, and he has that sort of, he hangs, he does And the, his, the his face pump. is emotionless. Yes, exactly. It's, uh, <laughs> the only time we've seen him... Very emotional was that time in Myringen where he had yeah. to reclimb the boulder. Yeah, that this was is the only time I saw it. That was where I so pissed. I got so much respect <gasps> for him after oh that. Oh god! Right, Mika Mawam is standing up tall on the slab. He falls. Ram Levin's going really high on these pinches. He wants to leave some space for the toe. Oh, or maybe he wants to skip. Who knows? Hmm. Oh wow! wow. 
Mm. Oh, he's trying to no. skip the zone and break the boulder, which would be it's awesome not, to see. Not well, I want to shout out Ram's bag. Uh, I noticed it during the qualifying. He's got this enormous, uh, this thing is a snap bag down on the mats. Uh, no, it's the Yeti one. It's the Yeti you, one. Huh? That you get on the Salt Lake City World Cup. But I w the thing that I've noticed, I mean, maybe you can take it as a critic. To whom it may concern, we're supposed to have unbranded bags on the mats. And I don't know, I've taken care to just like take my bag inside out. It's the classic thing you do when you have a branded bag because almost all brands all bags are branded except the ones we got in korea two years ago which were like with the ifc logo um but somehow oh he well, didn't start point, right so that's a starting oh, position yeah. the judge is just pointing out and, and we sort of noticed that with diane earlier on that he <laughs> may be moving a little bit yeah but now it was more obvious but um yeah here people were not mm, reminded or rather the rule was not enforced oh, well. let's leave that up to the officials <laughs> oh, well. there. they can deal with that but uh, right now Anje is cleaning up that slope up that wide pinch and also Ram is not jumping to the start he started both hands on the foot pinch and then put his heel up to go up which is interesting we haven't seen him do that now he's doing the intended beta yeah the leg muscles standing out as he kicks Mika trying to stand up Trying to find a jib on the left, but it doesn't, doesn't like it. Oh he? no! He's trying to work the foot in. It wasn't disco leg. He's yeah. trying to drill the climbing shoe into the hole. It's like you don't want to slip from that. Well, he stood up now. He needs to find this balancing point. Oh, this looks so nasty. Yep. Struggling a lot. You can see in his face, he's fighting for the like balance position, and now he knows he needs to change the feet. Oh Whoa. wow! So he tried to jump like Houdini swap the feet. Oh, yeah. That was a, that would have been impressive if you mm. pulled that one off. Andre on the second one. You've climbed with him a lot. Is, is this kind of these power moves something he likes? Honestly, I haven't climbed with him in a while, actually. <laughs> but um, I guess he's a very universal climber. He can do, like, everything, and he likes all different styles. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if he has a personal preference. Um yeah, sorry. No, 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 no I that. Was a, that was a silly question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Right, well, Ram Levitt is on uh, uh, men's three here. Mika ran in up onto the slab in the background. Oh, but slipped down. And yeah, this is that mantle I was talking about earlier on. So you have to press up the mantles when you kind of use your triceps. You're pressing down with the palms in order to go high as possible on the hold or the boulder. Hmm, is he trying to... I don't know what he's doing. He's kind of in the wrong direction at the moment. I feel like he almost wants to like stand up fully and just stand on this one. Or then jump left. That would be cool. Oh, yeah. And Mika is sitting there in the spotlights. I don't think it's Ooh. got enough time. Everyone is done, yet they leave. Brutal. 16 seconds to go. It is brutal. Yeah. Fairly low scoring at the moment. Yeah, the top in two zones for the lead. Hmm. Yeah, and we're 11 athletes in. Nikolai Uznik will be up next. He's having a good comp. Is Nikolai? Yeah. Yeah, qualifying in midway position for this final. And this was uh, Colin Duffy. He, he swung so much. Sometimes Colin looks effortless. Yeah. Somebody looks like he's really trying, and that tonight, that sequence, yeah, flowed through. So powerful, really. He is, well, it's good to watch him do that. Two hands matching. Look, just campers like, well. Yeah, no feet needed. Then got a foot engaged. Twist those hips slightly. Match the top, and that's that celebration. Like he really trusted that small hole. <laughs> he did, didn't he? It was commitment, right? It was. This is Ange looking up Pitchy. high. Made the, the pinch. pinch. Oh, it's Fired, just such it? a bad pinch. Yeah, it's nasty. All right, next rotation through. Nikolai is on the right in the Austrian green. There he is, European champ, of course. I always forget he's just 23 as well, so young, lot of uh, climbing ahead of him. Oh, yeah. A lot of people are really, really young. I forget. Well, you said you were old earlier. I mean, you were only 25, <laughs> right? What? 24? What is wrong with you? I'm 26. I'm turning 7 this year. Oh, goodness. Okay, maybe you are old. So, <laughs> <laughs> it. There are older joke, people than me. Course. It's all right. Well, I don't, I'm, I'm not that old. Decades older than oh. me. All right. Well, there's a big crowd in the background because uh, I think I, it's Dokian Lee. Yes, it is. Um, Sorry, Jean Wenchon is going outright in the background. Yeah, Nearly made it. Jakob was on the swing. Hmm. All right, so action going off. Nikolai right now resting on our screens. We'll try to move that camera over in a second. We're not in control of it, I'm afraid. But there's a lot going on in the background as well. 
So he starts this swing, back and forth he goes, hits the slab, jumps up, misses Ooh. the left hand. Smile. And there we get that wide there shot. Yeah, so Dokian Lee in the, uh, sorry, John Wonchon in the middle of the shot there, yeah, got true. the big pinch, mm. nearly made the second pinch as well, so it's good work for him. And Jakob now pulling in. He's not jumping in either, he's climbing into the position. Nope, yep. a little slip down, but Almost there he is in the start. Let's see, he didn't do the swing in the last attempt, his double toe hook. Oh, oh, oh my god. Is he going to try to cheat first? No, he has to come back. Yeah, he changed. He was trying to get the hands. Look at the shoulders. Around. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, stops the swing now. Has Such his a own. static drop down as well, wasn't it? Just like a yeah. robot. Just got yeah. <laughs> in position. Oh, but he's oh. not in the right place there. He's trying to heal hook on this little jib, trying to feel the volume. Does not succeed there. Mm. Yeah, he kind of tried to... I'm not sure if he tried something new, just sort of fell into that position and I had to deal with it. Dokian Lee on the far left falls off the uh, opening sequence there. Nikolai flings himself, nearly got that left hand on, couldn't quite hold it. And Zhong Wan now, this is near where he got to before. He got this next pinch off camera. Sees it, hits it, swings. Whoa, lost the right hand a bit. Hmm. Sliding down a bit there. This might be the hardest boulder. Is it? It's meant moment? to be the hardest, yeah. We've seen also today in general. I've no idea. I haven't climbed anything. I, I think it's it's up there. I mean, semi-finals is always harder than qualities. Yes. It's usually harder than finals. So with that yes. logic, yeah, I reckon so. This is this yes. is the brutalest one. Mm, probably. So Nikolai oh, launches, no, it and it is by the way the semi-final set. They haven't in Seoul. They put some final boulders, some semis. Mm. Nikolai is in though. We haven't seen many drop it from, or anyone drop it from here. Right hand up. Yeah. Oh, we had to fight though. Good one. He also jumped two hands to the to the red one, just like yeah, look at it. None yeah. of the others did that. Mm. I guess. Oh, I was about to say they read it together. Of course, they didn't yeah. for this. They one. didn't no. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but um, w what you were saying. So that's an interesting thing. Um, so you're saying these are the actual original semi balls Yes. Which oh, I, right. I, they didn't check because yeah, in Seoul they kind of put a mix. Here yes. they just stuck with the semi finals. Mm -hmm. So the qualities today were basically halfway finals? Well, qualies were brand new, so they came up with all those 10 boulders overnight the other night. But did they include any of the potential no. finals boulders? Uh, uh, not from my knowledge, no, they were brand Because brand that new. would be kind of practical, because, yeah, to remind the audience, they cancelled the men's qualifier, so the root setters had to come up with another 10 boulders to redo the qualifier, since the, some climbers already tried and did the initial qualifier boulders, so therefore they needed a fresh round. But from the practical reasons, it would be better to use the ones they've already set, which are the final boards. Yeah, I mean, maybe they were just worried about the spread of level and ability. Hang on, let's mm. just watch Jakob here because he's got himself wrapped in and he's one move away. Oh, Same as everyone low. else, even lower than the others. Yeah, you gotta go. So I think everyone needs to just press a little higher. Like, I know it's <laughs> difficult, I know it's easier said than done, but. Can they? Like, this is the, f the thing, I feel like the foot is just too low to do that. Maybe. I mean, that's, uh, I think that's what setters told me, but I might have misunderstood what they told me. But they certainly said you just, yeah, the, the full jump from low doesn't work. It's just too in the way. Mm. But we'll see, we'll see. And this was Nikolai. We saw it. That, oh, yeah, that was the double jump you were talking about. Yeah. Got it in. Trusted that foothold. Got the heel. And easy at the top. Lovely stuff for Nikolai Uznik. Next up is Sam Avazu. Now, again, no spoilers, but uh, his sister was pretty awesome the other night, so the <laughs> Avazu family is uh, on it. And there is Sam Avazu. And I can't wait to see Colin on the power bowl there. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Well, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. Yeah, Sam is probably going to do this first one very, very quickly. He's very good at... That, that is a risky commentator curse moment, that's that. Oh, Let's see. All right, so he starts the swing. Oh, he's not. Oh, oh, okay. Got I did caught in two minds. Didn't yeah, he? because he swung well, and then he got caught in the swing, and then started swinging way too openly. That would have missed the volume, and then he tried to kick the wall to redirect himself, but then he got stuck in the wall. But oh, Colin struggles with the first move. You cursed it now. I did. I mean, uh -huh. I, I always do. <laughs> 
Uh, Anje now out onto that corner, which is getting more and more chalked up. Tries to find the best part of it. Kicks over. Stops. Stop. Oh, he tried a bit without the toe hook. Hmm. Yeah, and without the crimp as well. Yeah, that's interesting. I think it's a bit far for that. No? Yeah, I think it might be impossible. <laughs> like that, but he certainly gave it well. a go. <laughs> yeah, this is that. You never know. No, yeah, you exactly. never know. <laughs> yeah, uh, what what you guys do out on the mats continuously amazes me and everyone at home. Right, uh, Colin as well is. Uh, uh, yeah, I know it's annoying we can't see it, but he's no, he's oh. fallen off that move. So Ram Levin rocks up on that left foot. Has to trust it. Everyone gets there and then it becomes awkward, doesn't it? Yeah, because you're not quite sure if you should... Oh, 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 oh no, that's not good for the... But one of the first, I think, Diane, uh, he could swap his feet very easily. I mean, he was just standing up on it. Yeah. One hand, one foot, he just swept feet and it's like nothing. Yeah, different kind of boulder. Ma I think it? Max as well, yeah? Yeah. All right, Andre hits Ooh. the red, makes it work this time. There it is. All right, now he's got to really trust that foot. He's on the uh, slope and now wraps his arm around that zone hold, reaches up high into the volume, comes back to the crimp. Yeah, a few have done that. Yeah. And now we'll try to get this. He wants the heel too. Oh, he might slip. Oh, no. Yeah, it's easy to roll. Ram Levin dries his hands on the left. Colin sits and has a look at the boulder, and just to your right, uh, we won't see it, but Sam Abazu topped that boulder off camera, so we'll see a replay at the end. But it was, you didn't curse him too bad. Fairly quick top for Sam. That's good. I'm, I'm happy. How <laughs> good is for that? Well, more than halfway through at the moment on this semi finals, Colin Duffy walking back and forth, having a little look. He's, uh, yeah, not got as close as I thought he might on this. Mm. Well. Yet. Yet. Let's see. He still has almost two minutes to do another attempt. And uh, hopefully he does stick the zone this time. Yeah, it's about... Tops are essential, but zones play a big role as well. And we've, we often see that in semifinals. It's like, usually, if the semifinal round is hard, you need, like, two tops or one top in all the zones. Um, to make it to the actual finals and here for the win oh, I think three tops yeah I mean he's going to have to be out I mean, Serato is on form as is Toby as is Tomoa they're coming oh, yeah. later Colin big fall nearly face planted that one <laughs> interestingly Ram tried the classic go low everyone seems to, to tickle that idea didn't mm. commit to it goes up again yeah goes high this time worth a try for sure I know Shauna, who joins me in the commentary box, loves it when uh, athletes go low on high boulders. She always seems oh. to sort of spot a solution. I don't know. I call it crawling. <laughs> <laughs> You're too tall. This is. I why. know. Yeah, I know a few people who do that, and I hate it when they can chew the boulder like that. <laughs> Damn you! <laughs> Not bitter at all. At all. No, 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 never. never. All right, Andre yeah. launching in. He's really got that move locked down now. Yeah, yeah he really executes the the swing well, and he's so precise on the foot as well. Now he tries with the toe. And, oh no, just. Oh no, big heel. Well, that heel's on nothing. It's not on the hold at all. No, he slipped through and now he's trying to find it again. <gasps> it actually looked better on the volume. Wow. See, oh, he's oh. really high now. Oh, right. He really holds it quite well. Forearms engaged. He goes for the jump. No. I don't know. This looks impossible to me. I do know what you mean. And we've seen some good people launch for it. No one yeah, getting anywhere near no. it. No. I, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Five seconds. Everyone rotates through. We'll hopefully see a replay of Sam Abazu's top in a second in the little break. Next up after Sam is Michi Narasaki, brother of Tomoe Narasaki. But uh, seven seconds to go, and we'll see this rotation. Let's see it. So I presume this is Sam Abazu. Yes, it is. Right, so leaping up. Nice and fluid. Got the heel in. It looks so easy when you get the swing right. It also feels effortless, but... The way to finding that perfect position is sometimes so sketchy. <laughs> it takes up just forever. <laughs> yes, it does. And if you're an average person like me, you'd be uh, hitting your face yeah. an awful lot. So, yeah, you need to practice so many different swings like that to know what works and what doesn't work and what your direction needs to be. It was interesting how he kicked the wall there to stop the swing. He really went for that last <laughs> hole. And that was Andre's last go high so on the volume. So far away and so 
far like from the wall. It's, it's a big one. Awkward. Right, Mechi now starts his right. swing. That's Jakob down at the end on the left. Mechi's so tall, you can see like how his legs are almost touching the holes on the right. Yeah, and this is his flash attempt as well. Yeah. Oh, campus is up. Nikolai. Oh, Lies down. Jean that. Chon is sideways. And Jakob is on the slab. Mechi topping. Great work from Mechi. Flash yeah. for him. Meiji, uh, you know, one of those who so regularly makes finals now, just coming to his own in the last couple of years. So he's done with that one. Jakob's on the slab. Ooh, sort of almost mm. lying on that slab. <laughs> Trying to find a way to transfer to the left. Lifts around, finds the brush. Has a little brush, cleans it up. And Jongwon is also just standing there <laughs> like a sort of warrior. <laughs> up at the boulder in that dramatic lighting that I love to point out. I think it's the cameraman in me. I just like it. Really yes, gets. exactly. I just wanted to say professional <laughs> deformation. <laughs> I just like to build a bit of atmosphere for people watching. We have heard. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> there are shadows in the light. Oh, I love them. I love a shadow. Love a shadows lens in the light. That sounds so it does. Deep. Poetic. Eh? <laughs> All right, Nikolai launches, hits the uh, slope, and now brings that thumb in on the thumb catch that kick to get oh, adjusted. Why are they doing it? See, lots of athletes kind of, I don't know how to describe it, sort of like <laughs> shuffle their hands. Matt is now showing me what he means. Yes, yeah, Shuffle the hands, it's like trying to adjust to get a perfect grip. Okay. So that's it's like, we call it re-gripping or okay. like sometimes over-gripping, but usually you can notice it in um, when boulderers go lead climbing. Yes. And they're right. like correct all the time but now young one is almost at the top can we please see one top oh, see i think the toe is a good idea he's changed it he's still gonna jump oh, oh he's in oh, it yes. is possible we're high-fiving <laughs> in the commentary box because that's brilliant john one chong got it done thumbs up to the crowd thank you johnny that's his <laughs> <laughs> in the climbing world. Well, that was um, great because you saw his hands were really close together high at the tip of the vault, like at the very top part of it. Not at the right side, but yeah. where the brush is right now. Yeah, uh, there. Yeah, he kind of almost wrapped his fingers. Yeah, awesome. he had them really close together and pushed inwards. Mm. I, see, this is why John Wan, like, yes, I, I ha sometimes have favorites. I love watching John Wan climb because <laughs> he just, he, he maybe struggles and then suddenly he just does something outrageous oh, yeah, like that. It was that. lovely to see. Yeah. And now Jakob is dancing on a slab. This is also a nice thing to see. It is, isn't he? Really precise with that left foot. Kind of finding a sloper. <laughs> Breath there. Yeah. It's the air it? yeah, to breathe. <laughs> He's going for this pop. Oh, no. to it. Nothing this is what to. Yuji was trying. Yeah, the, the I did watch the setters try that lots of times. Mm -hmm. And I think it is possible to do that. But, but you need extreme balance. Yeah, it's insanely delicate. Yeah. And there's one mm. setter particularly uh, who was just over and over again. He, he obviously just wanted to either prove a point that it was possible <laughs> or that it wasn't possible. But he was really going for that. Yeah. That was my afternoon, sitting mm. watching the setters play on boulders. It was wonderful. <laughs> Right. Yeah. What a way to switch your brain off after four hours of commentary. Yes, it was an intense morning. I'll give you that. Right, Nikolai isn't getting anywhere near that pinch move yet. Jakob runs back in. Nikolai left. He goes Smart low. Way. And he's almost made it work. Look. <gasps> no, not quite. It's so small to hit it like that. Yeah, right. But he got closer than everyone else. Right. But we seconds. haven't seen what he's done before. Maybe that's how he made it up. With we have been distracted by Young One. I yeah, so. true. Maybe he did. I. Oh, oh. yes. <gasps> I think he went high. Yeah, he oh. wants the crowd. Oh. And this is the thing. Sometimes with crowds here, they don't get involved, but everyone got into it then when Jakob asked yeah, them to. It's a bit of like a theater play here. Uh, oh, it's fun, though. And Jakob is having a good time. <laughs> and this is the thing with Jakob. He's going to love the lead in a couple of days. And for him, this is yes. just a test to see where you're at. Mm. Is he doing lead? I presume so. Yeah, I mean, he must surely come away. Because Jessie is not. not doing lead. Is she not? No, no. Why she, wouldn't she? She doesn't feel like she's in shape for it. Oh, fair enough. She needs to train more. I wouldn't come all the way to China and not do lead. I mean, quite a few people, like Andre is also going oh, wow. uh, back home. Quite some people are. Okay. Well, there we um, go. I should really read the registration. <laughs> Meiji in, in the background while I'm <laughs> making mistakes is uh, 
hitting the top. That was Jean-Wan topping out. What a moment for Jean-Wan Chan. He's not doing no, it. No, it's just uh, Stefan Schatz. Oh, there we go. Okay, fair enough. Okay, see you. <laughs> there you go, flying home. Bye-bye, Jakob. We say goodbye to him. Well, uh, who's, uh, let's find out who's leading the sex. We haven't seen a scoreboard in a while. Uh, yeah, apologies about well, that. Well, Jakob is. He's he on has the top three, spot. Because he has three zones. He got the zone in the in the blue one, yeah, right? Yeah, good point. So Jakob is leading the way with one top on the first and three zones. Maximil second and Jan Luka Posh drawing second, but in third, if that makes sense. No, well, yeah. Right, so. Colin uh, in the level holder number three. Let's see if he can repeat what we saw from uh, young one. Yeah, oh. reaching out to the corner. This is exciting. <laughs> you sound surprised. <laughs> I don't know. I love when it's very exciting. Yeah, it's good. I guess yeah. I haven't commentated semis much. No, you haven't. That's true. I've only finals. done finals, yeah. right? Like, semis are intense. It, it, it can go either <laughs> way. Sometimes ooh, it can be a ooh. bit slow. This is a good one. This was almost there, but not quite. <laughs> yeah, not quite. Well, Colin is trying to do a different method. And then uh, Satoni Yoshida. This is the zone just close by, and we have Sam resting in the blue boulder. We haven't seen how far he's come. Yeah, we haven't seen much of him yet on this. Sam's office, that always surprises me. He doesn't look particularly... You look at Colin, he's got muscles for days. You look at Sam, not necessarily the same, but he is really powerful, Sam, as well. Well, that's the thing with climbing. The build doesn't really equal the strength. No. And so you can... Yeah, have a very different build and um, control your body, well, similarly, or have, like, this relative power. But um, more muscle is usually better when it comes to um, stability, mm -hmm. so to say, but it's not directly equal to being stronger on the wall. Okay. And Colin has two toes <laughs> there, which is cool. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, no, he has yeah, stable shoulders. He could swing back again. Oh, look, he's going low too. Oh, perfect. and hits it. Go Pehi. That I think they're breaking a beater on it, which is brilliant because that's not that's what nice. I expected. Oh, look oh, at this oh, from Colin. Oh. No, he comes down. He's trying to power through a bit too much. He needs a bit more mm, efficient betas for the builder number three, and um, this is looking really good for. Andre because um, there's two minutes left and he's already at this high position. And this is very stable. Amazing. I want to see him do it, having broken oh, yes. Peter like that. Because now if he does the panic thing and falls at the top, he can still correct it and do it again. That's true. He's got lots of time, hasn't he? Two minutes. Let's do it very slowly, very slowly. Yeah, right. Slow, slow. Don't go fast. Don't, the temptation is to pop for it, isn't it? Yeah. got to be slow. Uh-oh. Oh, he's nearly overbalanced then. He's trying to lift his foot up, but he can't. He's going to go fast. Oh. He is going to go fast. <laughs> he almost, I feel like he slipped also with his right hand. I don't uh. think it's possible to do that and hold those thumbs. I think he needs to put his left foot down, right foot up. I don't know what Max did. I think that's what Max did. I forgot. I forgot too, yeah. So Tone almost gets the zone on the first one. It's weird to see the Japanese struggling on, on this one. Uh, why do you say that? Because of the way they flow th through moves? Because usually. they are known to be really good at coordination moves usually. But I guess the level of coordination or like the complexity of it has become so high that now it creates a split also within the team that is known to be really good at it. Interesting, yeah. Mm. And, and we've seen so many teams that test people at this World Cup. Um, you know, the USA team, for example, has got a little oh, very yes. young climbers yes. coming in. Two True. total newbies. And the uh, Japanese team as well is testing people we haven't seen since 2021 for some of the athletes. So it's it's an interesting World Cup for that. Yeah, really. Colin's foot popped. He is nervous, it seems. Or rather frustrated that it's not working out. Yeah, he could be in contention though. Uh, he he doesn't know. Oh, he's picking his stuff, yeah. But he's gone. Yeah, timing didn't work out. All right, 30 seconds done. Yeah, maybe mistimed it. He's sent the other way. Sam flies out of the zone, and Satona does it. Oh. It gets the zone 20 seconds. Wow. It's going to be close, this oh, one. Oh, oh no. no. He would have had enough time. <laughs> oh, so no one topped in that round. No. Okay. It's, this is this is a swings and roundabouts kind of semi it's final final right now. <laughs> it's hard right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> right, Hannes van Dyson is up next. The slab king will have to jump first of all, but he's waiting in the wings. Uh, 
Coming up to the last five athletes now, and that's the hot... S I guess that's the, the athletes sitting on the left of the current, yeah, the yeah, provisional the leaders. leaders. that have finished climbing. And now we see Andre... Yeah, did, no. it did slip a bit, didn't it? Yeah, went nice. backwards, and this is Colin's foot slip. Pity. Whew. Yeah, pity indeed. So Colin's got one more to come at the moment. Uh, who's that down the left? Do Lee, Lee is having a look? No, that's... Oh, young. he's young. Is it that? That's young one. Here's young Dohian one. finished. <laughs> I keep. I don't know. Okay, so, yeah. Hannes Van Dyssen on the right hand side starts that swing. Wow. Oh, not quite. That doesn't quite. It seems to land a little bit low on that volume then. Um, young one, I think, tried the low, did the low beta on the slab and now he's lifted his right foot up. Fascinating to me that everyone seems to be wanting to break it like that because it feels more natural, I guess. Yeah, but it's just I don't think the setters had it in mind at all when they put that up. Well, you know, when you create something and you try to force it, you seem to, you know, have this bias of just seeing what you want to have and not yeah. thinking that what the others would see is as straightforward. Yeah. Hannes, by the way, just flashed boulder number one super quick. No, it's not flashed. Is it not go. second go, maybe? Yeah, yeah second, second go. Second go. So Nikolai is in the shoulder move. This is a nice angle. Yeah, it is. It shows actually that if you kind of go for the middle ground, so not on the edge of the volume or not on the red, it just mm. slides down. And, uh, yeah, Zhongwon hit the ground there and holds his hip. Hope he's oh, all right. He's in the lead now. Yeah, Zhongwon Tan's moved up into the top position after that amazing top of bowl of three in just two goes as well. I forgot how quick that was. Mm. So he's got one top and three zones, as has Jakob, but it's the... Uh, the attempts to zones, he has two zones, um, sorry, four zones and six, and Jakob has four zones and eight attempts. So those people we're looking at now are our current leaders, but Jean Wan, once he leaves the mats, will uh, take Jakob's, well, one of their spaces, uh, Max's space. No, Jan Lucas' space. Jan Lucas' space. Jan -Lucas space. Oh, yes, because we've got three. We've got four, four yes, currently. Correct. There's four people in that top spot at the moment. And that's why. Meiji is on boulder number two. And Nikolai tries the third one again. All right, let's see what Nikolai can do here. We saw Colin get the double toes. Nikolai coming into that blocked crimp on the right. Hits perfectly into yeah, the red. Very nice. To make some adjustments mm -hmm. here. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. Crosses all the way. Th I'm not sure that's <laughs> the way. <laughs> I, think, I think he went for the zone, right? He's kind of stopped it, with like, but nope. he's not got it. He hasn't got it, no. Well, no. the zone hold. Oh. Oh, let's see, yeah. Oh no! I hope it did. He hasn't been awarded it yet on that score, anyway. Oh, and this is. Oh. Ooh. Well, I mean, it won't matter if he tops it out. So let's see. But no, that was, he doesn't. That was actually pretty close. It was I didn't see whether the Zhongwon, which way he did that. High or low? I think low because he kept bringing his right foot up, but I, I can't be sure. Yeah. <laughs> or whatever, he's on it now. But he's now he's got to get that right move, always over so balancing. The position was then to just really squeeze the zone and just stand up and to try to use either the volume or really squeeze it hard so you can stabilize yourself. Yeah, and those volumes are bad. Mm. There's not a lot going yeah. on there. Meichi, we haven't really mentioned him. He's on the far right of your screen. He's having a little look, having a rethink. Minute 24 to go, so we're nearing sort of the business end of these power boulders where you have got one kind of last Hail Mary go. And uh, that's where we're at. Someone is cleaning his feet, making sure of that. The thing with the run in jumps is that you usually, before a boulder, you put your towel beneath and you clean them before you enter a boulder, but with a runner, you clean them, but you still need to run on them out a few more times, so then your shirts get dirty again. <laughs> it's a conundrum, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the complexities are complicated. Yeah. John one going low. It just seems way better to do it like yeah. that. Right, he presses up, hits the yellow volume, brings the right foot up to the jib, which is hidden in the blue. Nikolai goes again, hasn't... I don't think he's been. I'm going to check about that zone. I don't think he hadn't been awarded it last nope. time. We looked. No, he still hasn't. So he needs that zone hold. Because he kind of just like laid his hand on it, which is equivalent to touching the boulder. That you don't get a zone. Hold. I hope he knows. Because again, he doesn't. he doesn't, does he? Because he's ignoring it again, and that is going to cost him potentially later in position. Yeah, they could try to 
an appeal, but... I'm sure know. there will be an appeal for that one, mate. Oh. No. Well, Nikolai misses out on the zone, which is going to be interesting later. I think you're right. I don't think he used it enough no. to get the points on it. He did not, but in this case, you at least ask the judge if you've well, got it. He didn't it. look. He just walked off without yeah, looking exactly. at the judges. I, I don't know. This was Hannes. He did this really quickly, uh, flying through. Had a little look, set himself up. Flung over. So the oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. That was a good save. He's <laughs> so strong with stuff like that. <laughs> it's crazy when you watch him. Look at that, like some TikTok. I don't know why I say TikTok. It's like a clock sometimes with him. It's just like static style moves. This is Nikolai's big jump. Eyed it up, bumped the hands into the middle. Good position on the hands. Uh, the left one just slid down. He, it needs to go way higher up on the right. Damn it. Right, Ritsu Keratsani is on. Runs, jumps, touches that starting. All four of those red lines indicate all well, the limbs on that first hold. Starts this swing, massive swing, but... He's only 17. Very young. Oh, young and talented. Awful. <laughs> Colin. We hate Charles. <laughs> yes, as we've discussed, we're bitter here in the box. <laughs> Colin's going high. He thought about going low, and now he's going super high. Oh, that's... Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, oh. Now what, though? Because he's almost going to have to jump. He needs... I think he'll put the foot and then go back with the hand. Oh, oh that would have been cool if he had got wow, that. Wow, that was insane. Look at Sam Abbott. looking very comfortable. Super comfortable as he uh, hits that right red. So chip. now it was this as well. That's basically the same thing that Nikolai well, did with see. the other hand. Let's see. We'll have to wait and see if he's been How awarded. How is that it. any different? I, I don't know. I haven't seen the scores. <laughs> Hang on. You look at the screen. I'm going to look at the scores. Hasn't been awarded it yet. No. He's hanging off. Well, now if he catches it, that would be his own. Yeah, hasn't been awarded it at the moment. So. Hmm. Consistent, maybe. Because, like, if he had it and then he moved his hips, that would be his own. But he hasn't moved. <laughs> yeah. Well, the judge, yeah. Oh, no, he has been given the zone. There we go. So, Boulder 3, so he's been awarded the zone. Well, I see no difference between Nikolai and Thomas Dunn. Go down and have a word. Okay, All right. Well, well, so we well, can, we'll see, see you on camera having an argument. <laughs> you can be the appeal judge. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Future career. <laughs> it's a terrifying world ahead of us. No, yeah, I, know. I don't want to <laughs> deal with coaches. <laughs> Some of them are scary. Oh, tell me about it. <laughs> Ritsu Kayatani starts the swing now. He was a bit wild in his first couple of goes. Yeah, I think he just needs to settle this down a bit. Swinging too far out. Oh, wow. Mm -mm, good. Yeah, really jumped right down on that. Mm. And did, he landed so heavy, he didn't really have the spring to go back. Yeah. <clears throat> so three to go. And After this. Satona is on M2. Yeah, top three is currently John Wonchon, Jakob Schubert, and Max. That's our top yeah, three. Max has good chances. Yeah, he does actually. Final, yeah. Yeah. Qualified low down, second to last, but he's done well. Fresh holds. <laughs> Fresh holds, yes, maybe. Yeah, well, that is a consideration in this, you know. I mean, now I've experienced it because I've always wanted to start in the first, like, five. But let me tell you something. It's not worth the stress. Is it not? <laughs> no, I'd rather start 10 and lower, but okay. be sure I'm in than not be sure I'm in and start like first five. Okay. <laughs> well, we've learned. He's just not getting that swing He's right. jumping really weirdly, yeah. Mm. And I'm really high and just landing heavy. Yeah. Mm. Oh, 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 that, that was a nasty, nasty fall from Sorry. the <laughs> leg. Wow. He's, he's jumped good. straight back up. He's all right. Yeah, I was watching his knee kind of bend under his body. Yeah, like or his hip getting pushed in. Yeah. Uh, Sam Avazu is wanting a heel hook. No, yeah, there's the heel hook. Yeah. Keep an eye on Colin as well. Yeah, it's really... Super comfortable with that position. So this is what Nikolai did. He didn't get I think that. Nikolai just touched <coughs> it less. I don't think he moved much. Just <laughs> less. Less, yeah. <laughs> but I don't think he moved his hips as much as Sam mm. did. That's okay. my defense of him anyway. Colin is trying to get out of this position. Yeah, he's having a little look down. He's got his hand on the zone hold now. Now bends his way downwards. <laughs> head really low. This is what this is what Max did. The same bit of slow motion climbing, isn't it? Oh, wow. it's so slow. <laughs> Gets the palm down though. Wow, okay. 48 seconds. It's not that much of a rush. No. Oh, oh no. he falls at the end. Head in his hands again. That's another he's classic been, Colin pose, yeah, that one. He's done that a lot. Yeah. Ah, uh, Colin just always seems to come so, so close. But just jump right back in. Yeah. Until the world champs re-qualify, which is incredible. Mm. Oh, no. 
time is ticking for all of the athletes right now. Less than 30 seconds to go. Again, a weird jump, really high on that volume on the right. Yeah. He goes, yeah, done. Well, we rotate the crowd support, but as Sam Abbas is still on, no, he's not. <laughs> as I said, it, he's down and out as well. So we rotate. Final three, and Tomoe Narasaki is about oh. to come out. And Tomoe is looking so good. Okay, let's see that. <laughs> yeah, he is. Uh, I'll have a feeling about Tomoe. So are we risking the jinx or is it a flash? Absolutely not. I haven't said anything. Can't prove <laughs> a thing. But Tomoe is looking strong. And that is our top four as it stands. So what did I say? So top three, we said, oh, are is, coming out. Yes. But there's obviously four because we've got some. So, so far, my prediction of a win with three tops is not doing well. So I guess two tops for win and all the zones. Damn. That's a low scoring one, but it's tense, isn't it? Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> well, Nikolai can still top the slab. And then we have Hannes van Dyson who has one top, and Meiji, who can still top. Meiji now goes to number three, as far as I know. Mm, and Sam has a slap to top. That's all to play mm. for. It is all to play for in this final. Right, there is Meiji cleaning up. I love that this is a final. <laughs> <laughs> that this such intense round brings about a winner. Yeah. It's great, no? Champions are born, right? It's like way more exciting yeah. than an actual I, final. Right? I found the same thing in Seoul. Like, I really enjoyed oh, this yeah. format. <laughs> All right, Meiji rocks up. And uh, I mentioned Tomoe. He's one move away. In fact, Tomoe has just got that boulder. So we'll see a replay of that in a sec. But his brother, Meiji, is uh, on the blacks. Trying to skip it. Oh, come on. I'd That's love it. That's what the Ram tried, but oh, no. I'd love that to happen. I don't think it's possible. <laughs> What's that? Oh, my goodness. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that looked so silly. So painful. Oh, yeah. Oh, Nikolai kind of went backwards. He, he went the upward better, mm -hmm. but he couldn't swap his feet. Yeah. Nah. Close. Hannes is uh, on men's two hit. Yep. Let's see how powerful he's feeling. Yeah, what his pinch power says. Mm. He's brushing that second pinch, the red holes, making mm. sure of it. Doesn't look like they can brush it that well, though. It's like so you can still see a bunch of chalk on it. <laughs> well, yeah, true. All right, so three boulders in action. Tomoa got that one done. I think it was a flash. I'll just have a little look, see where I can find his name. Yeah, so it was a flash on Tomoa on boulder number one. So a uh, genius prediction from Matt there. And uh, Hannes is having a long look. <laughs> Nikolai gets stood up. He's going for this high method. Standing up on it, has a little look, wants to bring that foot backwards somehow, stands up, always going Oh, really yeah, high. he's trying the Colin. Ah, but now if he leans, that's good. That is good. But can he swap his feet now? I can't there's another method for this slab. Oh. Ooh, where's he going now? <laughs> he's going back down again. Can he reach it? Mm. He's palming down. Oh, full wow. press. That is amazing. Hmm. Nice. Meiji goes in the shoulder. <coughs> doesn't like the swing out. Really. No, he doesn't. Oh. no, not working. That was great from Nikolai. Yeah, he's looking for the for the gym. And um, he feels a little bit sweaty on it. It seems like he needs to find a more stable position. But can he do it? He squeezes the volume. Now he wants to go low. Can he do it? Not really. Yeah, he's having all types of foot movement going on here, isn't he? Oh, he's <laughs> trying to pin, oh, crimp the top of the volume. Trying to palm it. He's so pulled so many shapes during this. Wow. Oh, no. No. The volume is really bad. So which, I mean, what, he's got to pick the best parts for that. Because <laughs> he did pretty much everything in order to get no. over there. Hannes has rested a long, long time. His clock ticks down to 120. And the crowd, I think they're finding it as tense as us. They're all sort of quite quiet at the moment, all very focused on the action. Yeah, there was quite some loud cheering when Nikolai was <coughs> progressing in the slab. I guess it's the Austrian team supporting him. <coughs> yeah, big old Austrian team out there today. <laughs> all right, minute buzzer goes. Hannes still waits. Now he approaches. Clearly his plan was to wait for that buzzer. Nikolai stood up again. Is he going to do that halfway house? He is as well. He's going high again. Hannes swings, catches the wide pinch. 
He didn't correct. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> He's all right. Yeah, and Mets are good. <laughs> Whoa. Nature falls. Tried to skip this match. Doesn't really like the body positions here. And Nikolai, again, he's, it takes such a long time to get into this position. He's mm. got one last chance at this. Mechi with the reverse grip. Hannes falls off screen. Mechi comes into the pinch. High toe. It's the oh, grip. Oh, oh, wow. How did he save that? <sighs> wow. Well, he found his way around the uncomfortable position. Nikolai is still in the set. Now he's in. Oh, he's going to have to go quick. He no. spent so much time. No. He made a long slap even longer. Oh, yeah, he did. <laughs> Eternity moving over there. Wow. Oh, it's all go here. Now, this was at Tomo. We didn't, it was so fast we didn't catch it. Flash this really beautifully. Wearing those soft, soft shoes. High heel hook. Hit the sloper. Rocked on it. Hit the top. Matched. Good start to Tomoa. Right, two to go. Toby Roberts will be out next. In fact, Toby Roberts is out now, so he's starting his swing. It looked like he's swinging in the wrong direction, but while he was swinging, he managed to do, like slowly rotate the landing. This is great from Toby. Let's hope we stick with him here. It's that left spread, gets the right toe in, crosses into the red hold. Always a bit low, but now manages to adjust. <gasps> Where is that foot going? What is that foot doing? It's trying to toe hook it. Oh, God. We haven't seen anyone struggle here as much. We haven't. I think Toby, a bit of nerves, oh. maybe. There. <coughs> maybe, yeah. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Relief. <laughs> that settles him down a bit, perhaps. Where are we at? Sam Abazu on the slab. Yeah. It's the same method as uh, Nikolai. Go up, yeah. palm down. Interesting. Yeah, and then this. Oh, he's got the right foot on now. And the left, well, that's smooth. This might be the best bit, actually. Yeah, but Nikolai struggled to get that right foot out, didn't he? And mm. Sam, he's on the zone hold. He doesn't like oh, it. she's crimping the edges. Oh, classic Hasn't French got a wood in the zone. Yeah, the uh, French slabs, everyone talks about that. How good yeah, they are yeah, slabs. it's like now it's a, a thing that French crimp all the volumes and uh, put nails and uh, fingers and all the screw on holds and apparently that's intended beta also to do it so now everyone tries to set that but we have the top oh, hole such on, a Sam. slow move he's in oh. that is going to bump him podium right yeah yeah, yeah two tops there. we said two yeah, tops yeah. right right but we'll wait for the score to be updated but what the first time we've seen that brilliant. he has amazing yes. leg power top position at the moment leg power insane you see how stable he was he kept the tension in his whole body and he just like lifted his body up so climbers don't skip like this you know that <laughs> yeah those days of ben moon in the 80s with tiny skinny no, legs no. it's gone we don't want that anymore that's not a thing pistol squats <laughs> exactly so tony yoshida with the, uh, he always has those double taped wrists. I think I might have misremembered this, so this might be complete <laughs> rubbish. But I, <laughs> what a way to start a sentence! Eh? Yeah, but I think he has those. You know those titanium metal uh, dot balance things. things okay. Yes, I think he has those under his um, those wrist straps. And what are they for? But oh, well, that was a bad fall. Uh, what are they for? Yeah, that's that's to be debated. Who knows? Science, whatever it is. But uh, yeah, sometimes. Some climbers struggle with like have pain in their um, wrists, so they tape them for stability, or it hurts less when they tape. Or some people have like very jumpy wrists when they hold like big slopers. Yeah, when they kind of click. Yeah, yeah, I had that for a lo quite a long time, and I know a friend who had that surgery to, to fix that, Leonie. Um, it's a nasty injury because you can't really control it. Yeah. Like mine still happens, but it's like very controlled. Do you get that thing where it almost feels like it's going to separate? Like yeah, like or like the the. This bone here goes out. Mm. So maybe that's also the case, and sometimes you like tape yeah. it too. That got too very deep medical, didn't it? We suddenly went into your medical history there for a second. <laughs> All right, well, who knows? But it's strapped for a reason anyway. Right, Toby got it done quick. We're only one, one climber left to go here, uh, which is uh, Serato, our current top spot position. So. Uh, um, yeah, that black we bottom. could still see three tops for a win. True. Toby and Serato, yeah. they could do it. Minimum of three. Oh, he's taking a second time a big fall. This is such a brutal ball. It is, isn't it? Yeah. 
I, I always amaze the reactions of you athletes because the way you can like <laughs> twist in the air, still not land on your face, is incredible. Oh, I don't know. Sometimes it happens automatically. I still don't trust myself fully. I don't know, like with these falls. There, there was a video from um, Udo Neumann on like how to turn and rotate and land like a cat or like mm -hmm. land safely or so on. But I don't think I know how to do that. Like, <laughs> it's really. Um, weird to, to rotate like that and yeah. how to know it. I guess you have to practice that but who has time for that? Yeah, it just amazes me because that to have that sort of... Um, Maybe uh, it happens like automatically. Yeah. Well, I think you just, it's instinctive in the air, isn't it? That you roll into a position. But it's because I, I assume the setters have tried it and then they have fallen on the back and they saw it safe so it was alright. Yeah, they do They do look. I mean, they changed that first boulder because of that. Oh yeah, exactly. Someone probably face planted. <laughs> yes, yeah, some poor set has taken the fall so no one else has to. Alright, one second to go and it is all over. And we have another rotation. Here we go. This was Toby on uh, boulder number one. He had a bit of a moment. He tried to get a high toe here. Yeah, like here he felt really stretched, and then he tried to like do something. To something, yeah. Ugh. And then had to cut loose awkwardly because he had his foot so high. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, Serato has been announced. Toby, that was his top. I think that settled his nerves yeah. down. And there is Serato. Let's see how he's feeling today. Back and <laughs> forth he goes. He is also very good at swinging. He has such a good feeling for coordination moves. It's insane. Yeah, I for mean, movement in general. He is such the one to watch. Still only 17. A bit older than the 16 he was last year, obviously, <laughs> when we were all just like good Plus as Plus one year. But yeah. now he wants to jump again. Oh, okay. Easy stuff from Serato. <laughs> He's clearly in form. The legs went a little bit there. Bit yeah, of a kick. Trying to get a bit of a swing. It was really interesting to see. I guess he doesn't want to go for a powerful beta, so he likes to swing because it's beat, better. It, yeah. <laughs> awesome from Serato, so he gets underway. So our top three is currently Sam... Oh, oh hang on. Oh, look, on the blue boulder. Tomorrow. Oh! Tomorrow is in form. But that it. zone is already a big bump up. Yes, that would have helped, wouldn't it? Well, our top three currently, Sam Avazu in the top spot with two tops and a zone, followed by Jean-Mon Chon off that brilliant top of Boulder 3, and then Jakob Schubert still in the podium places, and Max Mill now finally pushed down into fourth position. Hannes van Dyson, we're watching now on the black boulder. And then running up into position is uh, Michi Narasaki now, standing tall. It looks like he wants to get stood up high. Pressing, pressing. Finding that jib with the left foot. And Hannes gets a high left toe, pressing and almost like a bicycle there for a second. Now gets the double toes. Michi is so high up in this ball. You know, he's almost reaching <laughs> he the final hole. grab the edge. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he's got to drop down now, unfortunately. Oh. So he's got to find that gym, and it's a long way. Oh, wow. Hits it now, that's it. Gonna stand on it, though. Hannes is surprisingly struggling on the swing move on the shoulders. Mm. Yeah, he is. And he's going to enjoy the slab later on. Meiji in 10th at the moment after that first quick top. He does that slow creep over. Oh, wow. Brings the right foot in, stands. This is good for Meiji. The crowd know as well. Well, actually, they're, they're responding to Tomoa off, but they should be responding to Meiji as well. He's Meiji's one move away. Meiji's topping. Wow, with the left foot in. Yeah, to balance it off. And Tomoa, oh, falls off. Oh, Tomoa, yeah, was one move away as well. Well, the Narasaki brothers are on fire right now. Meiji leaves the stage. <laughs> That's a good one from him. Top, uh, second place, two tops, oh wow. Yeah, that top brought him up into second position. <laughs> oh, That's wow. pushed Jakob out of the top three. Jakob's now in fourth. All change in the last part of this competition here. Hannes van Dyssen is horizontal. He needs to work out how to release that bicycle. Can't get it quite, though. Wants a brush as well. Yeah, Hannes looks like he's working hard out there and struggling a bit. One minute, 44 on the clock and it's down in 11th at the moment just a top on a zone hasn't got any zone on boulder three yet and Samoa having come so so close hopefully we'll have enough energy to launch again I want to see someone do that boulder and no one doing boulder number two yeah 
couple well, of zones. We have one more go from Tomoa and two more climbers to hopefully top it. Hopefully get it done. But we didn't think M3 was possible. It was. We high fived. It was a great moment. Harris can't get started though. I think he's. Yeah, he's having to dig deep here is Hannes van Dyson. Right, Tomoa strides forward towards the wall. Hits the crimp, throws out towards the pinch. See now. Oh, this is it. He's got time though, and won't have burnt too much energy on that. Hannes desperately trying to get around the ball. Yeah, and no. it's going kind of backwards, but. Yeah, he wants to try again. He nearly got taken out by the brusher there. The brusher's just avoided him. But Tomoe's got 30 seconds. He's got his liquid chalk on. He's got time to go again. But boy, he's going to have to motor through this one. Yeah. Last push. Yeah, this is everything now for Tomoe. No, it's not going to be enough. That's that. That is the last attempt. <laughs> he's still in touch, though. We know two tops are enough for a podium at the moment. Well, one top is enough for a podium currently. Zhang Wanchan, one top, three zones. Hannes, with ten, he wants this zone. He's going to have to fling through it. That was actually better when he sped up. He spent so long trying to find the right position. I think he just should have gone and, and tried it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He kind of got stuck too far left. Yeah. All right, four seconds to go. We'll have a rotation and we'll see a replay. This is Serato who did it nice and quick. Did have a little bit of a kick with the legs in a minute, but he managed it well. Pushed up high onto that slope, but hit the top, and that was the final move. Good work from Serato. No real drama at the top. And this was Meichi creeped over nice and slow using the zone hold. Right foot through, stood on the yellow volume, rotated that body through, bumped the right hand. Lovely, lovely movement, really. That heel as well, really far down, getting lots Yeah, of he had to stabilize himself because he has a left foot, and otherwise bringing the right hand would be much trickier without it. Toby dropping the zone. Yeah, the more you go for that move, the nastier the fall is yeah, as well. Yeah, right. <laughs> so that's one of those things. It gets you flip in this yeah, direction. Exactly. <laughs> no back foots, please. So Tony's gone high, now goes sideways as he hits the yellow volume. <gasps> oh, what was that? Oh, he was crimping the top of that volume. And slipped. Well, that's a zone for sure. <laughs> yeah, it must be a zone. And it would have hurt as well. He's got a smile on his face, though. He's not aiming for the jib with the foot. Just going on the volume. Yeah, so Tony Yoshida is really stretched out now. Ooh, moves the right foot down, now onto the jib. Needs to pop over to the left. Creeps the hand through to the volume. Brusher in the background goes and removes the brush subtly away. <laughs> yeah, it's um, dangerous to have the brushes below, obviously. Yeah. Oh, he has to remove them. Oh, he's going to move fast. No. Oh, it's like what Yuji was trying. Uh, that one doesn't work. Doesn't. And Ritsu is, uh, has spent a long time resting here. Three minutes on the clock. Toby as well has spent some time just waiting after that. Bit of a nasty fall from him. Yeah. Almost till the end, so let's see what do we have here. So Max and Jakob are out of the podium. Young one's still third place with one top and all the zones. So we still have Tomoa, Hannes, Toby and Serato. They can change everything. Yeah. You know, it's can enough people <laughs> to exactly the to last top. part of this. Like basically they need to top the slab as well and have well, either low attempts, because Sam had four attempts on the first one, so two tops and five attempts. But if they have, let's say, two flashes or below five attempts, they still surpass him with another zone. Or they have both zones. Toby does that was the hand movement thing, by the way. That I, I actually replicated that in the commentary box. You can imagine how ridiculous that was. <laughs> but that was the hand adjustment. Yeah, because sometimes we don't like how it feels and we try to find a better position. Sometimes it's better, sometimes it's not. We make it worse. <laughs> really? Yeah, it does happen. And in lead, we kind of intuitively start doing that. And uh -huh. this just wastes your energy. Yeah. And it's so hard to unlearn it and to focus on not correcting. And it's like basically tightening the screw 
tighter and tighter. This is what the move is doing. Like, okay. especially with crimps, you know, you're trying to get your fingertips deeper and deeper inside. Um, There's that climbing um, exercise I was taught, which is you have to, with your feet in your hands, when you hit it, you have to stay. Well, however you hit yes. the hole, you just yeah, have to use it. Yeah, this is so hard. Way. Yeah, this it's is tricky, horrible. especially with the feet. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh, Ooh, it's close, but not yeah, nearly enough. held it with the one left hand. What? Things got tense again. We sort of got very dramatic a couple of minutes ago. Now things have just tightened up yeah, here yeah. in the stadium. The music has gotten a bit uh, more dramatic too, oh, yes. in the sense of like thrillery. Yes, there was some wonderful '80s power ballads playing last night during <laughs> the women's final. That was very much enjoyed. Yeah, yeah. Ritsu is over now. He's in the zone. He'll get, obviously, I think he's already got the zone for that. He's crimping the top again. Look at his wrist and fingers. What is that? Oh, oh yeah. so uncomfortable. That's past 90 degrees. It's real nasty. And he wants to bring the foot up. He's got to put even more pressure through the hands. Oh, I can't. Oh, it's crimping. a blind swabble. <gasps> he's on, but oh. mid foot, not toe. And that doesn't work. Really? laughing at least he always does that he's like <laughs> incredible pain and giggling but he does leave the <laughs> stage <laughs> oh no no go as well on that slab so that's not going to work toby came close that was the shout in the background but he's not done it either so only one athlete can do boulder two no just serato's left yeah, serato <laughs> it would be really funny if he just cruises <laughs> it would be wouldn't it like uh, no spoilers, but some things that Yanya did last night really made me laugh out loud. I was like, how? Or by how much she was... Uh, yes. Yeah. The, the, the coordination <laughs> boulder especially. Yes. I just start, I just released such a loud laugh. Yeah. <laughs> when she didn't do the coordination yes. and just static the way through don't it. Don't spoil it now. Oh, I don't care about that one. We're, we're, not, we're not giving away too much. We're just saying one boulder she ruled it. Oh, but yeah, it was incredible. That was so... Ridiculous to see I the know. difference is. I, I giggled up here as well. It's wonderful. <laughs> and we, we're not disrespecting Yang. We're saying it's incredible. No, it was did. so funny today at like one of the. I think it was at lunch, and she said she was talking to someone. She said, "I could have stopped at any move. I could have stopped at the first one. I could have stopped at the second one. It was really weird." <laughs> <laughs> She's good at slopers, though. Uh, All right. Well, we'll stop talking about Yanya for a sec because it's the men's final right now. Uh, slab is done, of course. Uh, Serato's on boulder two. And Hannes is on the slab. So now Hannes is really good in slabs. Yeah. He practices them a lot. The Belgians have put a lot of effort in that. And it showed. But now Serato. No. Oh. No. No, he missed it by quite a way, actually. That I don't, that did not look controlled at no. all. Serato, come on. So this might not get topped. Like, give him a chance. He's only, he's only 50 seconds into this thing. Has not convinced he's, me. His <laughs> stash is <laughs> done with Serato. No, no over. it's just like, no, that's not over. He can still top two boulders. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he can. Let's right. see. Tomoa is on the black and red problem. He needs a zone now. He's trying to find his hands in. Yeah, and Hannes is Hannes on the slabby bit. Yeah, on the press. Oh, Tomoa is really struggling yeah, here with the... Oh. That heel is hard to hold, isn't it? Oh, what has he got? That midfoot, kind of side of the midfoot. So that was kind of a zone. He can't move, surely, off that. Now he's got the heel. No. no. Hannes easily moved across. It's 3 minutes 27 seconds. <gasps> no, Hannes. No, the it bobble. jinxed it again. Yes, that little bubble couldn't save it either. I mean, it's nothing to grab onto. Right, Serato rolls his shoulders backwards. It is a shouldery move, that one. Mm. Has a look down at the clock. Three minutes on the clock. Tomoa getting some precise brushing instructions. Hannes alone on the left. Sam Avazu leading the way still. That flash on the slab for Sam is incredible, isn't it? I mean, yeah, he's French, that's what I do. <laughs> They're good at slabs. They are good at slabs, that's it's true. You can, can't do anything about it. No. <clears throat> you can try to follow, it's hard. <laughs> you just need to move to France, Dasher. I did go make a few trips to France, but they still make it hard, you know? They close some venues where they have good hard slabs, and then you can't go there, and it's like, ah. I want to train, but they, they're sketchy. <laughs> no, no comment from me. Uh, right, Samoa uh, is up. Got the oh, no, he's been called down by the judge. So, oh, no. the judge needs to watch it. So the judge there came on because Tomo wasn't in the correct starting position, uh, nearly got landed on in the process. You wouldn't expect such a thing from him. No, it's true, actually. He's mm. usually really good at that. And I said to top, slowly moving, slowly, 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 slowly. Oh, that was almost off. He's got to bring the left foot in, though. He does. Oh, no, he isn't. He's standing He's on the right. He's just corrected it. Nice. So, 
Hannes now, but we have to check the attempts. He yep. could beat Sam. We're waiting. We're waiting for the score to be updated. I think he has less attempts than Sam. Let's see. Hasn't been updated yet. We'll wait for that. Well, we'll let you know if the scores change. Sorato goes for another try now. This is a long five minute rotation, I must say. <laughs> it's tense, this one. Samoa yeah, wraps very... in. Oh, Serato sticks it. Hannes is at the oh, top spot, so Hannes it has been bumped up. Sam Abadou in second, now oh, Michi in third. Serato got really close to holding it, but lost the right hand. The left one was on spot, but not enough. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Well, we want Serato to get this done here. We need someone to top his boulder. <laughs> Tomoa pointing out that corner needs brushing. Nikolai is under appeal. We see in the results. Ah, mm. uh, yes. oh, uh, because of the zone on the third. Yeah. Exactly. So that. Yeah. Nikolai Uznik's, uh Yeah. On that. When we said it might be a bit tricky. Yeah. He is. Uh, he's under appeal for that. He's not. His team will probably be saying he should have got the zone. Yes. So, Hannes is still not quite safe on the podium. We still have three climbers that could potentially top two boulders and have different uh, more zones. This could be a last chance here for Serato. He holds oh, it this time. Oh, yes, that is quite a good zone to have. 30 seconds, though. Jakob got this far, oh, hit the bump. Let's see. Did I lose faith in Serato? <laughs> yes, exactly. You cancelled him after 50 seconds, but he's <laughs> right there. Heel in, and he's wow. got the second one. Let's see now. Come on, Serato. He's right foot on, yes. No! He uh, hasn't quite. But that was really good. That though. was really that good. Was really that good. was impressive. <laughs> He's been redeemed in Stasha's eyes. Yes. Good work from Serato. He gets the zone. It's all he might need. He's still in touch for that podium play. So Hannes on the top spot. All right. Wow. If he had another zone, that would have been even better. But look at this I mean, delicate top tops, it would have been better. Oh, well. Well, Just now we know goes. it's not possible. So we're still at three tops. Exactly. Boulder number two is out of the way now. That was Hannes. It's so interesting the way uh, it was Meiji who got the heel. Oh, the yeah, line, right. Yeah, the to different foot movement. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this was Serato's mm. good go. He came close. It's really hard to swap. Yeah, off, trying to jump off pinches. And holding it in. Tricky skill, that one. Right, Toby climbs his way up into this starting boulder. 4.30 on the clock. Ritsu is on the slab. He's going for the high method. And the, the Houdini swap, which is, wow, mm, so risky. Yeah. Toby's trying to try to prolong his... Mm, is he going to swap his toes now on the clock? Oh, this is a fun method. What? Yeah, and Toby needs this uh, Ooh, as well. Not as practical as fun it looks <laughs> <laughs> because he had like the toe in the outer volume then he went all the way there and then he tried to swap to walk yes I'm with, you, I'm, with you, I'm with you i'm with you yeah but lost the toe in the way <laughs> yeah and toby he's only got he's got flash boulder one obviously nothing on boulder two no zones so yeah important boulder for toby here if he wants to get uh, on the podium reaches up, double pinch, reverses the pinch really high in order to reach out to the right. realize now he needs to stow her closer. Mm -hmm. Right hand on that slopey crimp, or sloped crimp. It's not slopey at all, pretty in cut. Oh, just that's some strength in the shoulders, isn't it? Right. Now, will he get this zone? Oh, see, I don't this know. is the Nikolai thing, the isn't same it? Thing. Yeah, that's the I same thing. But he is changing now, it. Now uh, this is zone. Okay. Doubt this is a zone. Yeah. Yeah, that is, yes, definitely oh, now. Now yeah. it's 100%. Yes. But good bump into that left hand. Yeah. Oh, and that, I mean, that crimp is so nasty. Yeah, like people have usually gone up and then bumped the crimp. Oh. When, when I was on my ladder, oh. no, oh. slapping around. When I, when I was climbing my ladder, uh, <laughs> the other thing I did was, <laughs> I, was like, is I, is I touched that crimp and it's half a pad wide. So if you look down, if you're watching at home, look at your fingers, half a pad. That's all right, less. that's like 10, 12 yeah. mil. So it's okay. But it's all right. F yeah, for, for some of these guys, it's jugs, I guess, but I was impressed. Ritsu standing up high, drops down low. Tries to find space for his hand. Ooh. Right on the edge of that Oh, that was very. Yeah, I nearly lost it. Nice, nice save, though. 
Yeah, now foot on the jib, holds the zone hold, fingernails will be in action, and they are on the right hand as well. Oh. <laughs> Just a quick casual clean of the wow, hands. Wow, that was way more stable than any other athlete. Yeah. I'll, I'll oh, wow. Sweaty hands as well. He's just like without hands almost on the slab. Amazing. Drops low with the hips. Look at that hip movement. It's lovely to see this. Like, really, it's so nice. Yeah. It's like a dance. And it? now... And again with those hips. And the foot placement. He doesn't like his feet, no? Yeah, but he couldn't see that jib. He just knew it was there. <laughs> Oh, God, surely not. No. <laughs> this is he must be able to see We're it. such geeks, aren't we? This is ridiculous. <laughs> wonderful climbing. No, he's not going to hold no. it, though. After all of that. Ruined the perfect oh. opportunity. Right, Toby okay, goes Toby. again. Toby oh, hits the foothold. Oh, are you falling off your chair, man? <laughs> no, I just got a bit excited there. I'm looking forward. I nearly fell. Right, Toby back in that method. Hits the right hand. Adjust with the palm. He's only on the two of the three step really. I mean, it's True. a bump up. Ooh. He squeezes with the... What is he holding on to? I don't know, man. This is weird. He's got his left thumb in now. That will help. Now with the right thumb. No. He needs to slap it, but... Can't jump from there, though. He's got to go... I don't know. Head. Maybe he's... Uh, he's looking left. <gasps> what? Ooh. Wow. Okay. This is crazy. Where is he going with his feet, though? This is like in Brixham when he was back. No, he's shaking his head. He knows it's not quite right. Oh. Yeah, getting the hand up. It's, it's this getting is fatigued Classic here. dig deep, Toby. But surely he won't have enough. He's crimping the top of the volume with the right hand. No, he's going to go. No, he's not going to no. go. No. Wasted too much energy. I love it when Toby tries hard. <laughs> yeah. I, I love it so much. It is much. fun, though, yeah. And it's there without hands trying to crimp everything inside. 20 seconds, Toby's oh, leaving. He has a tape on his shoe. Oh, my goodness. This is <gasps> Oh, no. Yes, yeah, so that's a bit of tape discarded either by him or someone else, which can't help. I mean, it's not... It's not in the way. In the way. Six okay. seconds now, it's done. Well, the tape, oh. tape gate didn't happen, thank goodness. <laughs> right, well, Toby is in a bit of trouble. He, need, he needed the zone, and that has bumped him up. But he needs the top now. Yeah, he needs the top Tomoa now. Tomoa has... Under appeal as well. But he did crimp the hell out of the edge of the bottom. Yes. Yeah. So Surely we'll be given that. Yeah. yeah, so uh, Tomoe under appeal on Boulder for three. Mm. It's a really interesting mental game now because they know they have to top the slab to be bumped up, but that brings on the pressure that you have to top the slab. <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot, isn't it? Right, Tamoa. Tamoa is, well, under appeal, of course, but in 11th currently. Uh, and Serato now gets stood up. Serato has already a good zone. Tamoa in stiff shoes. Interesting. Oh, yeah. But we, well, he's wearing his own signature shoe, which weirdly he doesn't <laughs> he usually does wear. No. Um, but I've seen someone else. Oh, look those. at that for Serato. Hits it <clears throat> with a thwack on that black volume. So now again, zone, same thing. Um, because, yeah, they're really good on the jibs, but they can sometimes mm, disappoint on really flat volumes. Yeah. So and I'm not sure about the top move. He's got another pair of shoes down on the mat, so oh, he's true, obviously yeah. got a few options. Serato, look at this. Really he's in the high up. This is good. He would need no. Oh, that was too low. Wasn't quite set, was he? Look at this from Tamoa. Oh, 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 oh no, oh, that left oh, leg. Oh, 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 that was sketchy. Ah, oh, it's just lovely. So now Tamoa has two flashes. Yeah, that's going to help. <coughs> and under appeal for Boulder 3. So this is, we'll wait for the scores well, to go up. Well, uh, that bumps him in the first place for sure. And if he gets another zone, that's even bigger advantage. Yeah, massive this for Tamoa. Right. Yeah, so there we go. Tomo already in the top spot and still under appeal. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's very good. I called it. Just want to point that out. <laughs> okay, Just want to so point that out. I very rarely get it right. Yeah, this is a massive moment for me. I want some celebration. <laughs> Matt has peaked. I have. This is. I might as well leave now. I'm going to mic drop and walk out. He still hasn't won though. Let's, I'll let's, do, you'll let's do the interviews. I'll do the closure. It's all right. All right. Thank you. <laughs> all right. So uh, Tomo and Narasaki in the top spots. Hannes van Dyson in second, Sam Avazu third. And that is Serato 
Oh, that will be Serato's boulder here. The camera just focusing on that little crimp and corner. We're almost done with this World Cup. It's been a long, long weekend, right? A lot of rain at the beginning, but we managed to survive all those days without too many disruptions. Yeah, it was a yeah different weather. Yeah, he didn't get a word of the zone, by the way. He just skips it now. I mean, if he tops it, it doesn't matter. He gets it anyways, but he needs to bump his left hand a bit. Oh, that's a high foot. Oh, oh it's close. That was so close. He had a thumb almost in oh. there as well. Right, he one needs. minute 50. He'll have time. <laughs> wow, wow. Serato needs to fight here. Needs to find something on these last two boulders. And that's the top. You can see there is a little bit of a... Where it peaks, there is a bit of an edge there. Yeah. They blocked the right side of the volume from potential crimping. You can see Ooh. he's very out of breath. <laughs> so, so much fun to be around as well. He's great. Yeah. I loved having him on the circuit. All right, gets that short liquid chalk on. For those of you who don't know what liquid chalk is, it's like a powder chalk, but it dries on the hand. It's really good for managing sweat and humidity. And it kind of coats it as an underlayer. Yeah, well. yeah, it's an underlayer. You need powder chalk on it. I know there are a lot of gyms that only allow liquid chalk. Yes, I hate this. This is such torture. It's so annoying. I it? can't climb anything. No, I tend to ignore those rules. I, me them. too, but I was told a few times. Were you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, in Paris. They don't know who you are. They don't care. Unbelievable. They don't care. I mean, in Paris, when I was training uh, with some friends, we were told like we would hide our chalk legs, but they figured us out. They had cameras in the gym. <laughs> well, they just saw you chalking up. Probably. Oh, yeah. Terrible. Right, Serato <laughs> carrying right. Holds the corner, hits the crimp, swings over. Oh, dancing back and forth there. Looking more confident. The sign saying he doesn't have the zone. Oh. oh, he doesn't have the zone. No, he does not. But he oh, doesn't. doesn't matter. It doesn't oh, matter. He gets amazing. the top. Brilliant second top on that <laughs> He's boulder. He's so happy oh. with that. <laughs> yeah, he hadn't got the zone, so that was really important yeah, for him. Yeah, exactly. So two tops now. And now he needs, well, he just needs a zone for the win for now. But yes. let's hope he tops. Yeah, well, wait. Tomoe is still under appeal, remember. We'll let you know once we know what that appeal's for. We do well, know it's for Volta 3, and we presume it's that zone hold. Yeah. So this was Tomoe in the signature Tomoe shoes, standing on the slabs beautifully. Got the toe around the corner, made the top. Beautiful. Good work. What else do we have? What is Toby up? Toby now goes... Toby's in trouble. Toby needs to top fast. Yes. To... That looks, sorry, oh, well, Serato look. jumped either side. He didn't go for the middle. He had right hand on the far right, left hand on the far left. But Serato's already on the podium. He is, yeah. So third place for Serato at the moment. Right. So Toby... Hmm... Toby needs a fast top on yeah. the slab. Oof. He does. And sometimes Toby gets a bit unsettled. So let's see if he can hold this together. He's got a heel? No, in? Toe. no toe. He sits on his foot somehow. Now he needs to get out of there. It's awkward, isn't it? Look, that's what he's We've seen on. someone try to do this before and lose the foot, right? Yeah. You need to get up. In a second, you fall over. It just kind of pushes you away. It seems that this beta, like what we saw from Nikolai, we saw it from Meiji, we saw it from quite a few people. You stand up. Put your right hand, and Noritsu also did that, Kaitani. Um, palm down, put your other hand down, then transfer. Yeah. Or you just do the low beta, which he's Ooh, trying, trying now. Exactly. He's quite tall. He's got he's got the length for it. Ah, Ooh, has he? No. More swing, yeah. Oh. No, I don't think he's quite got that. He wasn't quite... You can go a bit lower on the left with the left hand, with the I hands down. You need to be super precise and really dynamic. And it's and not cool. as it's safe cool. as he tried to do it. Three minutes, 28 for Toby. He's in 13th. Needs a bit of a miracle right now. Oh, a lot of a miracle. Yeah. yeah. Is it possible? Might not even be possible. Is it Still? Mm. Yeah. Oh, he's going oh, high. He's not. going high method. He's trying everything. But not that foot. The other foot. He needs a left foot on the jib. And then right foot up where his hands are. He's just mantling now. Gets that left foot engaged. 
doesn't look like it's stable enough. But yeah, basically this. But we've seen Mika struggle a lot with this move. Find balance, right? Yeah, we did, you're right. But that is that. That is it. That is that. Yeah, okay, so he's in a good position, but he set himself well. 2 minutes 40, all that right leg went high up in the air to balance him out. Toby alone on the wall out there. Brings the right foot onto the jib. That's oh no, he lost it. She's trying to press on the, on the volume, but it's not very stable. Some people have done that very effortlessly, but now he needs to bring his right hand backwards or swap the feet. But this he needs to swap the feet, doesn't he? But it's it's underneath. You can't see it. Now he's trying to get the fingers in. Mm. The one finger. Oh my god, two fingers oh. pressing. Oh, oh that's oh that's outrageous finger strength. Oh my god. Now finally it will shake out those fingers. <laughs> I, know, I, was, I was twiddling my fingers there in sympathy. <laughs> right, hits the zone, looks back, checks the clock, got plenty of time. Can afford to creep his way across it. Oh nailing it. This might be the best method, just crimp that. By the way, Tomoe's appeal has not been upheld, so no zone on Boulder three. Oh, no. Still in the lead though, yeah. but so currently Tamoa Hannes Serato. Totally wow, one that was insanely flexible to bring that foot so high, but he's not very. Toby's giving me a heart. Attack. Efficient. Oh, so many. He's trying so many different things here. Come on, stands up on that right foot. Slowly brings the left. This is gonna work out yeah. if he keeps it as steady. That's it. Thumb in. So now that is. Well, hang on, he hasn't done it yet. Now he has. Okay, now you can do it. <laughs> oh, but now it's too many attempts, I think. Yeah, I think He's, so too. It puts him below Sonata, I'd say. We'll have to wait for that. He's bumped up to eight through the zone. And now let's wait and see. Yeah, we still haven't been updated yet. So Sorato's in third, but has oh, a boulder to go. Oh, he is in third. Yeah, Toby's in third, but Sorato has a boulder to go. Right, right, right. right. So yeah, we'll yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, but I thought Toby had made more attempts. Oh, okay, that's, yeah, just that's good. Yeah, just yeah. three. Three here and flash the first one. Right. Okay, interesting. Whew. So, Hannes is on on the podium, for sure. Mm -hmm. And Tomoa. So now we just have to see if Tomoa gets first or second. Very good for Hannes. He also got a medal in his first World Cup last year in Japan. Yeah, he did. You're right. And what a moment that yeah. was. After he dolphin dived in celebration, <laughs> yes. which is one of my favorite moments of the season. Brilliant. <laughs> That was a fun final, though. And 14 seconds till the last climber out and the finish of this World Cup. How slowly he moved his poetry in it. Look at that creeping. Is it slow motion? No, it's not. Is that full speed? That's full speed. Wow, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good work, <laughs> it looks Toby. Like slow as well. So, our young Serato Anoraku at the slab. Do you think he can flash it? Yeah, well, this is it, isn't it? I mean, he's on a high after that boulder number three. Hit the, uh, hits the slab beautifully now. So, what's he going to do? Is he going to go low? No, he's going to go high, which yeah. is expected. I mean, it's the natural way to climb that. Yeah, and he's not very tall either. No, so fourth place. Can he get into third? So with the zone, he's with a zone on the slab. He gets already into second. Okay, <laughs> so this is a big moment for for, for Serato. <laughs> Toby. <laughs> to big moment for Toby too. Well, it is for Toby. Uh, big moment all round. But he's going to do this Houdini slip. No, oh, he's not. He's standing exactly. on the volume. This is what Toby has tried, but he has slipped a little bit. Ah. So now he has the zone, and now it bumps Toby down, I think. So or right. it has not really been. Oh, yeah, he's bumped up, right? Hannes third, and now Sorato needs to top this for the win. Oh, this is massive then. All oh, right, yeah. Stasha, this is huge. Here we go. <laughs> the crowd Matt has gone. is hyped. I here. am hyped. The crowd has gone completely silent as well. They are just focused. Ah, but he's not standing on the jib. He that moved his foot yeah, and that's has so to go risky. back. Oh, no. Stash has just written him off again. He's <laughs> still on the wall. Here he has gone, you were right. Yeah, <laughs> not, on that, not, on that, not on that jib was important. Yeah, he thought it would be better to already swap to the volume. But the edge of that volume chipped off there. Yeah, but maybe from before. Yeah. Clumsy Roots had dropped it. So. 
<laughs> I don't know. I mean, it happens. I didn't notice it before. I wonder if someone's going to hit it on the way down. Maybe. All right, well, mm. that is that small zone hole. It has got quite a good edge, actually, on the left of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you not can too bad. crimp it quite well. Yeah. I, I'm thinking, I mean, I'm not thinking now, but in general, like, you shouldn't cut your nails too short. Like, you need to leave your nails a little bit of yeah. space so you can use the volume. <laughs> but oh. not too long, otherwise you can break it. Is this just occurred to you, this one? No, it has not, but I just remember that. Okay. And you need to it's drink lots of milk, because kids, watching at home. Yeah, my nails are too... I'm looking at my nails now, too short. I, I Serato's <laughs> on the slab. <laughs> oh. Again, now and he's now got the jibs. jib. Much yes. better. So now he knows he needs to <clears throat> transition to the left. He's got to do this little pop thing, so though, he tries the foot. Let's see. He's not... You see... I'm not saying he's too young, but he might be a bit too inexperienced to try and really use every part. Like, we consider using the... Holes for the screw. On. Oh, oh. Well, we s we saw that this doesn't work. By the way, he's in second as well, so that has pushed Toby out of the top yeah. three. Hannes in third now. Yes. That so why the experience? Established. What do you think? Because he's not using all of these so-called cheating methods, which are not cheating; they're allowed. Mm -hmm. But we call them cheating because, well, you're not using the intended parts of the volume, but you're using your nails on the edges or using the screw on holes. And he's not even trying that. And you know, this is what when I was a bit younger, I also. Sometimes didn't even think about it, didn't want to do it. Um, but nowadays, more and more, it has become the intended way to do things. Mm. So you kind of have to practice these as well. And you can see that he's not even trying to figure out a way to do it like that. Yeah, and the setters, they're aware of it, as you yeah. say. So they know it is a possibility. Oh, he hasn't found it this time. Oh, that was wild. Yeah. Like in Laval, we had a slab in finals that was meant to be done yeah. by using the screw on holes mm. only because you couldn't do anything else. Yeah. And I nearly broke my nails. <laughs> it's really painful. Yeah, I mean, it's so intense what you have to go through. Oh, how is it? Yeah. No, why is it? But we saw that this method doesn't work. Yeah, it's he just know too that. fast, isn't it? Yeah, he doesn't know that, of course. But yeah, coming into such bad slopers. Yeah. Well, he, look, he's he got silver, which is amazing. Tomoa, gold at the moment. He got the zone, Tomoa. Look. He has been awarded the zone. Okay, so that's been re flipped. <laughs> so he originally wasn't, now he has got the zone. So, yeah, not sure what's going on with that scoring. Yeah, but but that still, Serato needs the top to win. Okay. Stress. All right, Serato. He's probably, this is definitely his last go. 30 <laughs> seconds. He has to be quick. Oh, oh no, the bubble. It. No, he's not yet. Oh, he's he'll going go. again. Of course he is. 20 seconds. Come on. No, surely not. He's not going to. He's going to have to jump his way on this thing. 17 seconds. This is massive for Serato. He's got to go so quick. 15. <laughs> Oh, cross your fingers, Serato fans. Uh, no, 10 seconds, surely not. Does the Houdini sit? Hits the jib. No Four way. seconds now, that is it. Or well, second place for Serato is still impressive for his first yes. comp. Wow. Amazing. Well, listen, we are... Provisional top three, until it's confirmed, is Tomoa Narasaki on the top spot, Serato and Raku second, Hannes Van Dyson third. That's what we think. We won't for appeals, of course. Stasha, you were only going to stay halfway through this. You said to me before that you're feeling <laughs> tired and you might go halfway through. This was so exciting, and I think these sweets that you have provided have uh, proved to be quite energetic. <laughs> yeah, I'm not stupid. I dumped a whole load of chocolate on the table. Oh, yeah, we, we haven't began. eaten all of that. But, uh, yeah, I have quite enjoyed this show. I'm sad we didn't see three tops, as I have uh, so surely predicted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I get things wrong sometimes. But we have seen the Boulder number three top twice, which mm -hmm. was amazing. And number two, sadly, not just in the flag in the female semifinal yesterday. But I think Tomo is quite happy with this. I think he should be. What a performance yeah. from Tomo and Narasaki. Right? Well, look, Stasha, you're going to go off, uh, have I? a relaxing evening. Uh, <laughs> thank you so, so much for joining me. It's always a pleasure. So much yeah, fun. I it was fun. I, I hope you all guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, see you around. <laughs> Best of luck in Wujang. Thanks. See you later, Stasha. See you.
So Stasher is heading down to do the interview with Tomoe and Narasaki. I'm up in the commentary box with you. That's a chance to sort of analyse what happened through the last couple of days because it has been a great couple of days of climbing. Women's competition took place yesterday. You can go back and watch that if you haven't seen it already. We didn't give away any spoilers. A few hints, maybe, but no scores were given away. And after this, well, we all head tomorrow to a new city for a new World Cup. Lead and speed is coming up. Athletes have already gathered down there waiting for those events. We'll lose some athletes who are going home. And, of course, the speed climbers are back in town. My favourite comp. Cannot wait to watch those guys crush the speed wall. Of course, everyone's eyes are on the OQS and the Olympics coming up. And while we're talking about crushing things in a seamless transition world climbing club on youtube it's a daily show we're producing highlights of course but extra content as well we did an interview with the root setter about that brutal boulder stasher was talking about earlier on we've got stretching tips coming today from some of the athletes in isolation a little chat with me and stasher before so lots of extra content for you to get your teeth into if you're watching at home free to watch on YouTube make sure you subscribe to that Instagram as well pictures going up all the time quizzes questions so if you're as involved in the sport as we are up here in the commentary box and you'll love all of the action coming at you we'll have a bit of a pause before this interview now and the uh, team is working to set up the podium on the main stage it takes a little bit of time so do bear with us if you want to see those podiums it's great to celebrate with the athletes See the trophies, hear the national anthems. And the team will be building that in the background. Somewhere down in the crowd, Stasha has a microphone. And hopefully a cameraman. And Samoa Narasaki will be found and placed there for an interview. Can't wait to hear from Tomorrow. He did look like he was in form earlier on. Had a good semi, sorry, qualifying round earlier on today. Ladies and gentlemen, himself up the nicely for this final. Hopefully you're still with us. We're waiting for our interviews to take place and of course the podiums will be built. Big old structure needs to be brought onto the stage. And ladies, and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to this three days competition of the IFSC World Cup. Kuchel, the Stasha will be down there in a minute. Well, wait, I'll keep you updated. Have us on in the background. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the medalist. Both medal. Congratulations to Belgium, Van Duysen Hennis. So this is the flower ceremony. Medal. Congratulations where we to get to celebrate with the athletes before Robinson the podium Jeanette. itself is built. Welcome. The gold medal and the winner. With that silver medal, awesome from him. Hannes in third Nara and Tamoa Narasaki Tomoa. with the gold. Congratulations to all the medalists and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Right, well, they'll leave the stage now. That means that Sasha can find Tamoa. And the interview Well, there is the podium being carried onto the stage, or the backing for the podium anyway. That gets put up. As you can see, multiple people involved in that one, tortoising itself across the stage. So a couple of minutes towards the podium. Not sure what's happened to the interview, but uh, I presume it's still taking place. Have to wait and see. But yeah, a couple of minutes. Thank you so much for your patience. We'll be back very soon with the medal ceremony the final one of our first World Cup of the Year. I can't believe it's over already it's been a blast Tamoa congratulations uh, again at the top of the podium what was your favourite boulder and favourite move? He likes so second border, mm. well, very very cool. <laughs> but that's why he couldn't uh, get the top. Mm. It looks very close, though. So, yeah, it was nice. Um, how do you feel to be back at the top of the podium, and uh, what does this mean for your Olympic journey? Today's ま、オリンピックに向けてやっぱりこのシーズン初戦でいいイメージで始まれたのはすごくいいことですし、ま、この後のトレーニングもすごく楽しみになってましたね。いや、インデアオリンピック前にそうヒフィールベリーハッピー
Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for men's voter of IFSC Climbing World Cup 2024 Kuchel will start very soon. Please stay tuned. 女士们、先生们，二零二四国际攀岩世界杯攀岩赛中国科桥站男子攀石颁奖仪式很快进行，敬请期待。Right, a change of music. I'm pretty sure signals a podium. Right, makes sense. So we are second Ladies away, I think. Yes, we are. Right. Let's listen to the announcements as we celebrate with our podium World finishes. World Cup 2024 Kuchiao now begins. 女士们，先生们，二零二四国际攀岩世界杯攀岩赛中国科桥站男子攀石颁奖仪式现在开始。Please welcome the medalists and presenters. 有请获奖运动员、颁奖嘉宾入场。Beautifully choreographed medal ceremony is there the vice president of the IFSC on the left hand side, the athletes in the middle, and the medals and bouquets on the right with the ladies. As our three athletes get to celebrate with you at home and those in the stadium. From the People's Republic of China. 来自中国的肇庆市科桥区副区长周燕女士。
medalist, Japan. 获得银牌的是日本。Anaku Solado. Well, congratulations to all of our athletes, and especially that man there, Tomoe Narasaki. He was on form, and boy, did he pull it out of the bag! Eh? Another gold for his Ladies collection. And, and we listened to the national anthem, the anthem of Japan. Anthem of Japan. 女士们、先生们，请起立，奏日本国歌。Well, there we go. Congratulations to all three of those. They'll gather at the top for the photo opportunity before leaving the stage, and we will say goodbye. It's been a cool week. Despite the weather, despite all of the issues, it was a fantastic competition. So thank you to everyone who worked behind the scenes to make it happen, all the volunteers, the climbers themselves, of course, judges, TV crew, my co-commentators. Hugely appreciated. Good effort, everyone. You've only got one day, though, before we're back with more、Thanks、IFSC action. On Friday, qualifying takes place for lead, and over the weekend we have the lead semi-final qualification, semi-finals, finals, and speed qualification and finals. All of that coming in the next couple of days. So an action-packed week in the world of climbing. We'll say goodbye to those athletes, and we will say goodbye to you watching at home too. Thank you for joining us here at the IFSC. It's going to be a heck of a year, isn't it? As we build towards the Olympics in Paris. Thank you again, and we will see you guys very soon. Have a wonderful night, everyone. Congratulations to all the medalists. 祝贺获奖运动员。Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the victory ceremony for men's boulder of Ivan Etzi Climbing World Cup 2024. Ke Xiao. 女士们、先生们，二零二四国际攀联世界杯攀岩赛中国科桥站男子攀石颁奖仪式到此结束。
Hannes Van Dessen. Okay. 初戦優勝おめでとうございます。
、えー、まず試合を終えての感想なんですけれども、まあ、予選雨でキャンセルからのスタートだったんですけれども、えー、決勝が準決勝方式になり、まあ、あの上り、影響ありましたかそうですねやっぱり事前に課題が見れないというところと、20人からリザルトをつけなきゃいけないので、まあ、課題はハードになってくるかなと予想してたので、本当に一本一本、大事にいこうと思ってました、ね。あの盛り上がった点でいうと2課題目あの片手ピンチで振られてる課題があったんですけど内容的にはどうでしたかあれは正直あの振られ方が変な時に結構降りたりするパターンも多かったんですけど、まあ、今回はちょっと粘って、まあ、あれもちょっとこう気持ちの面で見るといい流れになったのかなっていうふうに思ってるので良かったかなと思ってます。はい、で3課題目あの、結構迷うポイントも多い課題だったんですけれども、あの課題、印象はどうでしたか、まあ、正直、見た瞬間からどのムーブが正解だろうなって思いつつ、あとはその最後の,そのチータのボリュームがどれぐらい持てるか分からなかったので、ちょっとそこう決めきれなかったですね、迷ってしまってあのフィジカル的にはハードでしたかうん、フィジカル的にハードな感じではなかったですね。最後4課題目、スラブあの非常にスムーズな登りで、まあ、あのオブザベーションというか考えた通りに登れてたのかなと思うんですけれどもどのようにあのうまくいった点としてはどのようなところを分析してますかそうですね、あのー、粒が結構乗れるビスだったのでやっぱりそこで一旦落ち着いてこう体勢を整えながらいけたのがうまくいった要因かなと思いますね、まあ、初戦を終えてなんですけれども、まあ、今年最大の目標、パリがあると思うんですけれどもそれまでのスケジュールとあれば教えてください。まあ、やっぱり今回、空飛が2位でまあ僕は優勝できたんですけどやっぱ僅差だったのでまあ僕がやっぱりオリンピックで優勝するためにはもっとこう差をつけて勝たなきゃいけないなと思っているのでさらに頑張りたいと思います引き続き頑張りましょうお疲れ様でした。やべ帽子かぶないと。なかぶってかぶって。初<笑>戦<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>お疲れ様でした。はいまあ、雨からの、ね、今も雨降ってるんですけれども、あのーまあ、展開としては珍しい展開になってしまったと思うんですけれども、その辺あの気持ち的にはどうでしたかと、まあ、3課題目は、まあ、本当は一時期で、ね、決,めらたと決められた課題だったんですけど、ちょっと決めきれなかったのもあったんですけど、ちゃんと時間前に完投できたのは良かったんですけど、やっぱあそこ、結果見とか見えて、で多分二2冠のトライ数だなというのは、薄々分かっていたので、4課題目、登らなきゃ。負けるなっていうのは分かってたんですけど2と3でだいぶ腕が張ってしまって座られた状態であの4回で臨むことになったので久々になんか焦いつもの落ち着いた登りができずに焦ってしまってスラブも落ち着いて考えられずに関東につなげられなかったなと反省してます。まあ、確かにあの4課題目でちょっといつもの空とのクレバーさ3課題目ではクレバーさが見れたんですけど4課題目ちょっと焦ってるなっていう雰囲気ありましたで最初の1課題目なんですけれどもまあ最後に出てきて1課題目、完投率高い課題だったと思うんですけれどもまあ得意な方だと思うんですよ、スイングただちょっと動き一瞬硬い部分もあるのかなと思ったんですけれどもそこら辺緊張してましたか、まあ、やっぱりなんかこの20人の中から1位がもう決まっちゃう。あの普段の準決勝だったら6人までなんで、まあ、なんか5位でも OK みたいな感じだったんですけど20人の中から1人1、2、3って全部決まるってことで慎重にちょっといっちゃった部分もあると思うんですけどでも、1課題目はなんか僕的にはちょっと変な課題なんかなんかなんだ,なんだ,なんだこれみたいな課題だったんででもそれでも探り探り行ってても一撃できたのは良かったかなと思います、はいまあ、あのフィジカル的にあの強度が求められた2課題目あの止めるまで。えー、ゾーンを止めるまで回数はかかったんですけれども最後のトライかなり観客の方も湧いてたと思うんですけどあそこ諦めなかったポイントは何ですかポイント、えっとまあ、ゴールが悪くてみんなこれができたいんだろうなというのは分かってたんですけどやっぱりそこで、まあ、戦略的にやめてもよかったんですけどもしかしたら取れるかもしれないっていう気持ちで行ったんですけどだめ、まあ、で,でもこれもあれなんですねあの2課題目これみんなできてないというのは分かっててちょっとね気の緩みというか、なんかこれは
できなんか最近できない感じの登れなくて大丈夫というかできない感じの最近あるのでっていうふうに思い込みすぎてしまってもしかしたらあのゾーンをしっかり意識していれば止まったので、まあ、2トライ目ぐらい止めて上に2回ぐらい3回ぐらいやればもしかしたら取れたかもしれないなっていうちょっとなんだろうな戦略的すぎたというか<笑>こ,れは大これは大丈夫かなみたいななっちゃったのは。まあ、難しいですよねそこで本気で,本気で全部トライしても疲れちゃうしっていうところでまあ難しかったですね、まあ、そういう経験を踏まえてあの初戦を終えてあのパリに向けて、えー、どういう計画でトレーニングしていくかあれば教えてくださいジャパンカップでそこまで成績振らなかったんですけど今回、まあ、しっかりムーブを読めて決めきるところ決めきって今回2位という結果につながったので、まあ、この大会だ準決勝、準決勝主に準決勝で。出てきた課題を普段のトレーニングやらボルダーのトレーニングやらに生かしてま,あその次のそれまずソルトリークシティでまあ僕、インスト力も出る予定なのでその後に大会に向けて合わせてっていうまあどんどん学びを得てパリオリンピックまでに自分のちょっとねあの僕、あんまり先のこと考えられないんでだからこれになるっていうのはあれなんですけど大会ごとに改善点を見つけていってあのまあこその今年一いい状態でパリオリンピックは。迎えられたらいいかなと思います。あの期待してます。頑張りましょう。はい、お疲れ様でした。